Welcome to All Horse Racing All the Time. I'm your host, Al. Today, November 28th, 2020. Let me lower this volume here. I got to close that screen. Got one screen to close. Hang on, folks. All righty. Welcome to All Horse Racing All the Time. I'm your host, Al. Monday, November 28th, 2022. This is the show for both horse racing fans and horse players. It's in real time, folks. The live shows, we do handicapping in real time from the time the board opens right up until post. Gives, I give my selections and others in here share their selections as well. Some tremendous players with some, some tremendous picks. Today, okay, Thanksgiving in the rear view mirror, Black Friday. Now we're on to uh, Christmas, um, New Year's, and so we're going into, yeah, that, you know, we're almost to December now. And we got parks today. Post time is 11.50, I think 11.55, or 11, I think it's 11.55 p. a.m. They start in the morning here at parks. Big card today. 11 races. We'll get to all of that, but first coffee. Good. Nice and strong. Cafe Bistello Espresso Ground Coffee. All right. We were at Del Mar this weekend. Some uh, nice picks yesterday. Uh, we were at Parks over the Thanksgiving long weekend. Jeez, we hit like a black hole there. It was uh, Friday. I whiffed at Parks. Saturday, yeah, I started to get some hits, but uh, the damp, you know, did the most damage at Del Mar. That was good. We even went to Remington for a little while. Uh, night racing at, at Remington. So we look forward to parks today. Uh, that's the premier track running early. The biggest purses, the best talent, and uh, the less chance for horsing around where somebody, you know, in a place like Figure Lakes or one of these tiny tracks where you put a bet in. And uh, if somebody puts in a $1,000 bet, it could swing the odds entirely. So we're going to parks today. 11 races. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the takeout rates. Sometimes, um, you know, Players, some players aren't familiar with it if, if you're newer, and sometimes even experienced players, and they, it might be in their back of the mind somewhere. They're not really thinking about takeouts. They're thinking about choosing the right horse and winning some races. So let's take a look at Park's takeout here real quick, and then we're going to get started on the first race. All right, here we go. Parks takeout rates. Let me take myself off the screen and just.
let's get started. Let's get started here on race number one. Race number one at Parks. A lot of these horses have experience. It's the 15,000K claiming race. Uh, six and a half furlongs. They have some distances that are a little unusual at this track. Like this case, six and a half. They have a lot of seven, seven furlong races. So we have six and a half furlongs, 15K claiming, purse 30,000. Still a much more expensive track than, say, Mountaineer, where you have uh, $7,000 purses and, and 4K claimings. So Parks, a couple notches below Del Mar or uh, Aqueduct, or, but still very solid racing. They, I believe this is the best track to play early during, during the week, except when this season when Delaware is running or, or Laurel. So let's go down. Uh, okay, so six and a half furlongs. I have a couple. Of, I've, I've uh, looked through this card once, and I have a few selections here. I circled the one, and um, I also think two and five have a shot. We have nine entries. Let me make sure. Let me see the scratches. No scratches, so we're there. And the one that I like, the one I have circled is uh, the number one, Xavian. Opened at seven to two, and current and not, so it was the second choice, but it's sitting on the board at two to one as the chalk right now. Uh, the boards uh, has the has the boards opened up yet? Here, let's see. Uh, and the telecast opened up yet? Okay, they're not showing the board yet here. So let's start looking at this. And we got Charles, Charles, Charles Lasich. Hey, Charles, good to see you. Great job yesterday, coach. You came through at the end of the day to save the day. That's right. Oh, yeah, I hit a, a nice exact uh, to end the day yesterday in the finale at at um, Del Mar. And they, the horses were bet down. Uh, I had it 15 to 1, a 1 2 exact, a 1 2 11 exact box. It came in 1 2. And both of them were longer. I think the one was 8 to 1. and Got bet down to three to one, and the other was fifteen to one. It came down to ten to one. So yeah, good to see you, Charles. Thanks. Good. Yeah, that's the end. Uh, Delmar. No, I'm... Next weekend is the next last weekend, closing weekend at Delmar. So look for some big, big races. They usually save some heavy duty races for their uh, closing weekend. Uh, Saturday, I expect to be an amazing card. Okay, how about the others? Let's look at some, okay, one, two. Um, let's, let's talk a little bit about the one, since that's the one I, I landed on here. Xavier. Okay, he runs it well at this distance, this odd six and a half furlong distance. Uh, 10 races, two wins, three seconds, and two thirds out of 10. So in the money, seven out of 10 has the uh, highest speed rating at this distance of these. It's in good form. You, you look back last two times at these races, it, it finished second and third with speed figures of 85 Brisnet. So it looks to be in very good form right now. Jockey is uh, was finished second, and this trainer, uh, Prisciano Padilla, with beaten favorites, he comes right back and wins at a 27% clip. He's 12% overall at Parks for this meet and 11% for 2022. But he does most of his racing. Uh, Padilla does most of his racing at Parks. Um, out of 266 races here in 2022, all but 30 of them have been at Parks. And the jockey also uh, it's very strong. Abner Adorno, 15% at, at Parks for this meet, 14% overall. Uh, the rail post is winning 20%. So we got the rail. And he has good early pace, and he closes well, too. And uh, the, the race too bad was at seven furlongs, and he wasn't quite as strong at seven furlongs. But he's going at, But he has some good ones. He used to run on the bigger circuits. He used to run at Belmont and Aqueduct. So, and this one is a 246K uh, career winner. He's an eight-year-old, but still in good form. Number one, uh, Zavian. And the other ones I like, number two um, for second. Now, this one, 
it, now one is a, a pressing type horse. Number two can show early speed. Why are the field here at Parks at six at this distance? Uh, showing flashing good early speed back in September. So uses it there. Uh, last last race um, had some early speed, hung on for third. That was at six and a half. Um, race two back, ran a decent figure, but you know just went up against a tougher competition and finished six ten back. Um, but still has a lot of a lot of nice numbers, back numbers, very very solid. It's another one that you know, six years old, six year old Shanghai Superfly. It must have been really big one at one time because two hundred thirty six k in winnings, and the jock on that is Luis Rivera, twelve uh, percent jockey, and the, and the trainer Patricia Faro, nine percent, nine percent. Not impossible. Uh, staying at the, it's usually around. It had, doesn't win often now. That's my that's my complaint. If you're going to 23 races at parks for the career, uh, five wins, four seconds, and seven thirds. So 16 out of 23 times it's in the money. This is probably a good one to use underneath. I don't think it's, or if you're going to bet play show, I I don't think it's. Um, doesn't win that often. The one doesn't win that often either, but he has the best numbers. And the other one I was on is number five. And then we're going we're to talk about some of the others. The race two back, now this one six to one, gets a solid jock, Jeremy Laprida, who's 15%. And the jockey, Frank uh, Polers, is also 15%. But this one has a race two back that if, if repeated today, likely wins and that was at allowance company and this is claiming it's run the last four times at allowance now they're dropping this one down and it it, it led the way for the first two calls last race running quick fractions in the mud but <clears throat> and then folded uh, and it pretty much stopped and now just over three four weeks late just about four weeks later after running an allowance company drops down to 15k claiming and what's up with that has it worked out this is a little harbor that they really don't work out much at all last time they used it, this horse worked out was it's only worked out had one workout in the past year <laughs> it has one workout this year in may so what what they don't believe in workouts with these horses the horses are like athletes i mean you would think, you know, it's like Rocky running up the stairs in Philly and uh, getting ready. Can you see a boxer going into a, a fight without working out? Or an Olympic athlete? Then the horse, anyway, it's a solid horse. It usually runs figures in the upper 80s. And at this distance, 4 of 23. And this jockey has ridden it every single time. I mean, he's always on it, uh, Jeremy Laprida, so he's familiar with it. And with the big class drop, I don't know what to expect of it. But we'll, we will see. I don't think it's impossible. The class drop maybe has another good race. I wonder if it gets claimed. I imagine it will because uh, Little Harbor is only five years old. Uh, let's see. We're 11 minutes from post. I just have to step away for a second. I'll be right back.
So for you double players I, uh, that want to get started early, uh, let's see. Um, I, I have the two circled for next race. So uh, I'm going to try and get to those. We still got eight minutes to post. Hey, Al, here's Austin. Austin is in the house. Hey, Al, trying the pit five at Parks. One, two, five. Okay. I'm on the, I like the two next race. I have the two circled. I have two, four. In the third race, I am just to give, just comparing notes here. Thanks. Good to see you, Austin. And uh, and thanks for sharing with us right away. And Austin's a heavy hitter in here. So when Austin has something to say, listen up, you know, Uh, he's a tremendous uh, multi-race play player. And he also hits big ones in the, within the, in the, within the race itself. Okay. So two, two, four, I was looking at the nine. I'm going to get to him in a minute. Two, three in the third. So we both on the two. And I have four listed. I have 10 on the side. And I do have the nine. I'm looking, I like kind of like the one six a little bit. And if we step ahead to the fifth, I'm going to go to this one. Um, I'm not playing the pick five. Uh, okay, let me see. Let me get back to this race because we're getting near post time. We're seven minutes to post. I'm going to leave your picks up, Austin. Let me go down to this nine here. The nine opened at five to two. I don't think this one is really in good form. But what I do like about the nine is now the nine is a closer, long term thinking. It has the sixth highest power ranking, but he opens five to two, but as slashing the price down to <clears throat> from 20K. And he's running at a tougher circuit. He was running at Churchill Downs, Saratoga, uh, uh, Aqueduct, and now comes into parks. Now comes into parks. Now, the trainer really doesn't run here. He has not run here during this meet. Um, AC Avia, uh, but gets a top jock. Well, not a top jock. He's been very successful jock. Uh, look. Castro Luis Rodriguez, who's 33% here, but that covers 15 races. But still, he's won five races and a second in 15 starts, which is uh, eye-popping. And lately has been in bad form compared to the others, 65, 75, 71. Now, I'm talking about entries that are running in the 80s, and this one's in the 70s. Um, It ran at Saratoga and really has not put up any numbers but here's the thing about avia the trainer when a limited body of work doesn't ship often but when when uh, avia does ship wins 31 percent of the time when they ship one in 31 percent that covers 13 races with a tremendous return rate so let's see what he's doing on the board right now this long-term thinking on the board at nine to two Speed figures are kind of light. The one is down to nine to five. I'm tempted to do something with the five here, Little Harbor. Um, one minute, to, five minutes to post race one. Little Harbor uh, has a really nice figure two back. Long term thinking. You gotta, you gotta respect it. So it's a, a very competitive race. And you want to talk about competitive? We have one, two, three, four, five. Six of the nine entries, they range in price from two to one to eight to one. And uh, the four, you could pretty much write off. If the four wins, call the police. If the eight, what about the eight at 13 to one? Opened at eight to one. It looks like an overlay at first glance. If you go back to September, this one was running very big figures compared to the others. He's only run twice at the distance. I think this one likes it a little longer. Has uh, Silver, uh, Silvino Ramirez, 18%. Um, Gabriel Ramos, the jockey, 13%. So you got a good job. In claiming races, Ramirez is 20%. And, and he's been hot lately over the last two weeks in the money five out of six times and not just show in six, six races, two wins and three seconds. 
Uh, but the last race, it, and it's dropping. It's dropping big in class today. 25K down to 15K. Is something wrong with Excursion? Uh, has the seventh highest power rating. Um, gets a new jock. Gets a new jock. Haddock has been riding him all the time. And now we go to Yabiel Ramos, who is 13% here. And out of his and 14% for the year, out of his 234 races this year, 209 of them have been at parks. So this guy, you know, Gabriel is a, a park specialist, does all, just uh, very dedicated to the park circuit. The trainer Ramirez, 9% in trip and sprints. I really don't like the last two races that showed nothing. Uh, finished 8th, 22 back, 6th, 18 back. And the race before that, decent speed figure at a higher class, 6th, 12 back. Something has happened since September that this one has suddenly turned south. And he's turned south since changing hands to uh, uh, Silvino. Did they hold him back for two races to get a price today? Let's go back to the, how much time do we have, folks? Uh, we got two minutes to post, so we're going to put in an out pick. What about the daily double? Let's look quick at the daily double. I like, I'm on the one so far. And I got two circled next race and four. The nine looks pretty solid next race too. Let me bring that up real quick. Yeah, two. Uh, three races at the distance, two seconds and a third. Uh, on the board, nine out of 16 at parks with two wins. Let me look at four. Uh, two has, it has the four at this distance, We're going back. Okay. Um, not so much on the four as the two. I think the two is going to be the one. Gushing oil. The nine is one for one at the distance. Gets a good jock. Um, dropping in class. We're going to go two nine next race. So let's start that way. Go back to race one. We still have a minute. I'm going to put it on pick, folks. Hang tight. When, uh, still a minute to post. Okay, I'm staying back as long as I can here. I just want to gonna put in a double here to start the day. I want to get the all right. We're gonna we're gonna go this way. We're going to go 1-5 with 2-4, daily double to start the day. Uh, playing the 9, win place, race 1. Good luck, Austin. The 9, yeah, a big drop here. Uh, race 1. DD. one 5 with two, four. <clears throat> okay, let's see where we are in time. They're about to get in. Good luck, everybody. We're about to get racing, get the ball rolling. Carlos, the man of the hour with all the power, good morning. Good luck today. Hey, 
And there, it's starting to load up, folks. We got an eye on the, keep an eye on the nine, Austin's liking the nine, the, uh, the shipping there, and, and um, it's running bigger, bigger, better, and coming in here. And they're in the gated parks. 6.5 furlongs, 15K claiming, 30K purse. Monday racing at its finest. And it's before noon, so you don't have to wait till 2, 3 o'clock to start making. You can make your money early here today. And they're off. Two showing a little speed inside. One is a little further back than I expected. It's opened at six to five. So watch that rail. What happened with the one that he's so far back? Two leads the way. Shanghai Superfly. <clears throat> Nine all the way up to six to one. Uh, four, the 90 to one running inside. Now the six. Captain Chaz took some money, opened eight to one, and uh, down to four to one. Now the race two back, not bad. <clears throat> Shanghai Superfly leads the way. This is six and a half furlongs, and they're approaching the, uh, they're running down the back stretch. They should be getting to the turn shortly here. And Sh Shanghai Superfly leads the way. Uh, the one is dead last, and that one opened it. It's now three to two. Uh, the nine is starting to move a little bit. Now the one's showing some interest. But number two, with a commanding lead heading for home at eight to one. Uh, number three is part of the fray at 24 to one. Uh, three is uh, making lay, nine running second. Here comes the one. I, unless two completely collapses, he's gonna take this. And you know what? It looks like he might collapse. Uh, no, he hangs on two, one, nine, very chalky. Well, eight was, uh, two was not eight to one. And um, <clears throat> gets the job done here. Now I cut corners here. Will he get this? Did it again. I don't know if you can see this. I got some of my notes on this page. Uh, race one, one, two, five. And uh, I used the one and the five and left out the two in the daily double, playing it cheap. So I leave out the winner out of my three selections. Beautiful. All right, let's get the nonsense out of the way. Don't cut corners, don't cut corners. You saw me, you know, even after these winning plays for winning for a while, solid player, uh, still prone to getting cute sometimes. So uh, you're not gonna see that happen to me again today. Lesson learned here. See we make a mistake. At least I own up to it and you know, it's, that's terrible. I mean, <clears throat> but it's early yet. What do we got? Carlos, God bless you, Charles. Charles, hi, Carlos. God is good to horse players. And Carlos, we are going to win. And let's see what we got with uh, Austin here. And Austin, my friend, is alive and well, moving into the, uh, into the uh, second leg of the pick, pick five. So we'll keep, a track, of, keep track of that. All right, on to race two. Going to have to heat up this coffee. Uh, what else? All right, there, no, wait a second. The five finished third. I thought it was the nine. Look at this. I should have played the trifecta. Just box my horses. What? One, two, five, right there. And the longest one came in first. And the longest one I left out of the double. I'm not going to talk about it again. Uh, I cut corners too. Should have just boxed the try. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, you're alive. And uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to make that mistake again because I did that yesterday and it, and it burned me. And you know, really, why it really burned me? It's not that I threw out the one that I threw out the longest horse out of the ones. That, that it came in and wins and uh, it paid the most. So I'm cutting corners and leaving out the winner, a big winner at a big price. So 
you know, it wouldn't bug me so much if it was a six to five or a four to five that I threw out in the morning. But just like yesterday, coach. Yeah, Charles was here yesterday. He saw it happen in real in real time. All horse racing all the time. I'm your host, Al. Uh, this is the show where we do handicapping and selections, cover all the races in real time. Uh, handicap Q&A is open, and we make selections right before post. You can see Austin's making some picks here. Tremendous player. And now we move on to race two. I got to heat up the coffee. I got to heat. How much time do we have before post? Did they have any payouts yet? Uh, it's a fit. The race just became official. Um, we'll see what the payouts are in a bit. That two, man, eight to one. And that two, it opened at five to one and went all the way up to eight to one. So people think the public knows what they're doing. Most horse players are losing players. They say, okay, this is a challenging game. You know, I I may make it sound like it's easy sometimes the way I talk about it. I think about, yeah, we'll go play the races and it's like having your own personal ATM machine. Yeah, we'll go out there and make some money. It's not that easy. It's a difficult game. 97% of horse players are losing players. That's when you see the public swing the board. Oh, the public knows what they're doing. 97% of them are losers. Look what happened to the one. Everyone was on the one. Yeah, $18 horse. That that really puts it into perspective. Uh, you have an 18, you have a uh, eight to one shot winning the first leg of the five or even the double. I would have loved that. That's probably going to be a great double if I would have just left it in. You know, I played it for a buck. It's not like I'm throwing 50 bucks on it, but and that's why I can cover. And uh, yeah, that's a great way to start it off. And you had that try there. You had the try there right there, too, for the taking. I don't know what the try paid. Do we even have payouts yet for that race? I don't even know if we have payouts yet for that. Uh, how many minutes before post? I'm going to heat up the coffee. I'm going to be right back. We already have odds. Uh, preliminary, I'm on two and four, and the two in this race is at four to five. And I like four. The four open nine to two is now 10 to one. The six, Gushing Oil, who I didn't really, uh, you know, in my preliminary, okay. Uh, two, uh, 1940, the exact. And now they have the tote board showing. All right. Just now, I guess the tote was delayed. Uh, Coach, I actually boxed Justin's big exact, and then I canceled it and keyed the 10 with the 2, and 9 got cheap and lost. How do you think? No fell. Yeah. Oh, that was Saturday. Right. Well, it happens sometimes. It happens to the best of them. You know, it, it happens to the best of them. Look, Justin left it out. It didn't do, do the box of the try. Left it out, and we're winning players, and uh, I'm sure others do it as well. Got cheap, and it effed me. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, me and you more so than Justin, because Justin at least has the has that has that um, has that Shanghai Superfly alive in his uh, in five pick five. So they, you can't do anything worse there with the. Uh, then get off to a big start in the in the super. And uh, I'm going to step away, heat up the coffee, and just let everyone know Justin is uh, on the two and nine um, early here for me. I'm on the um, preliminary two and four. Mm. Uh, my preliminary first. Uh, I'm going to make a note here so you can start looking at this. Be right back. Heating coffee. All right, let me get this up here real quick. Uh, we got a nice, let's win some money. We got 10 races to go. What a great card they give us at Parks on, on a Monday. Who else gives you 11 races to, 
on a Monday, they get started eleven fifty-five. You don't have to wait till two o'clock to start winning money, and they give you a full card, bigger card. I think it's a bigger card than they give us at Atwood at any day over the weekend. Delmar gives us nine races. I mean, Parks. At least they deliver some racing and some opportunities here. I was just saying, I already put the volume down. I was just saying, who else uh, at at parks? They give us a 11 race card that starts before noon. You don't, don't got to wait until 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock to start winning money. You can start pocketing money early. What if the track gives you 11 races, day races, with uh, 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 bigger purses than the average track, uh, big fields, and 11 races? Look at Aqueduct. That, what do they give us all weekend? Nine, 10 races most? Uh, Del Mar, nine? And parks, they're giving you 11 shots here. We got 10 races to go. Uh, I'll be right back and heat some coffee and uh, let's get cracking on two. I got my preliminary picks. My first two I looked at is two and four, but I could add to that. I could change that. I went through the card once. Now we're going through it with a fine tooth comb. Okay, be right back, folks.
The only thing that bugs me about the last race is anything. I didn't see the replays. Why was the one who usually shows decent speed early, why was he all the way in the back? What was the jockey thinking? Did he get stuck in the gate? Did anybody notice that? <clears throat> I can go back and look at the replay. I'll check later. But if anyone noticed something fishy about the one, you know, Parks is known for that sometimes. But don't uh, let that sway your handicapping. If you start playing for people, uh, horsing around, jockeys horsing around, uh, it'll throw off your game. So yeah, I'm just curious about the one, if anyone noticed. Uh, lots of fixed races at Parks Racing. I know somebody <clears throat> who has worked there as, a, as an official in capacities personally. I'm not going to mention names, a friend of mine. And he himself told me that a lot of games get played at Parks. So yeah, JW, right. JW, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Coach, you should open up donation here. Uh, thanks, Charles. I'm glad you enjoy the show. If, the, if you like the show, subscribe. You get notifications of all new uh, videos. Uh, pre, I do pre-recorded videos, too. But most of the shows are live in real time, handicapping shows covering a track. So uh, if you like it, like it, you hit, you know, if you like the show, subscribe. And you'll get notifications. But make sure you hit the bell twice. Otherwise, uh, at, you know, you, you, I think you get an email notification if that I'm going live, uh, if you hit it twice, if you hit it just once, at least if you go into YouTube when you subscribe, uh, you'd see it up there. Al's out there live. Hey, let's go out there and win some money. You, 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 I'll show up on as a YouTube uh, show to watch on your screen. All right, let's get to race two. Um, I like the two and the four. Uh, preliminary, my first time through the card, and two right now is four to five. And the four that I like, load up Mo. I'll tell you what, I'm looking down at the nine. I'm wondering why the nine is up to eight to one, has uh, decent buyer figures. Uh, the two has the best buyer figures. The four, not so much. A uh, couple of decent ones, ballpark, open nine to two, now on the board, 10 to one. We got nine minutes to post, so let's look at the charts now. We'll go a step deeper than the buyer figures. Number two, the one that I have circled here, has the highest power prime, a power rating, Brisnet power rating. Uh, now you can't go strictly by that because uh, that bunches up there, you know, accumulation computer generated from all the races and so you got to look at the ones that they erased at parks and in this case this one likes the distance this one is uh six and another six and a half furlong race uh claiming 7.5k uh number two category one category one uh number one one thing that jumps out is going second layoff and trainer juan guerrero who is a heavyweight here at parks going second off the layoff wins 28 percent of the time gets the top jock in uh, michael sanchez 18 uh, percent at parks doesn't only run at parks because he has 488 races for the year and 174 at the meet at parks and he's 18 percent at parks but 20 percent overall in 488 races so 174 at parks and 314 races elsewhere so uh, the, uh, michael here or is it Michelle? I don't know. <laughs> Spelled M-Y-C-H-E-L. I'm going to say it's just a different way to spell Michael, but don't hold me to that. Anyway, 20% jock overall in 2022. Uh, by the numbers, in good form now, running in the 80s consistently. Uh, at this distance, 16 tries, nine times on the board. Two wins, five seconds, and two thirds. So, okay, this one's in good form. We get the idea. Hasn't won, though, since November 22nd of last year. Has not won a race in over a year. So let's try and beat this one. This one's on the board at four to five. Number two, category one. Uh, the other one I looked at is number four, who is dead on the board right now. 12 races at park, so win three seconds. Uh, one try at this distance, a second. Uh, I don't think it's that strong of a win candidate. It likes to run longer. It's going to close. I think this one, you know, this is a case where I looked at the numbers and it kind of fit. I like the distance. One try at this distance. It was a two back. 
did run a 79 and and uh, finished second by a nose, closed at six and a half at this uh, class level, 7.5, moved up to a 15K uh, claiming level last race, finished fifth, 11 back, and it gets uh, Jockey Ocasio back, and Laprida had been riding it, so who does Laprida go to today? And uh, so it takes a, drop, a jockey hit, goes to a low percentage jockey, uh, Jonathan Ocasio, and um, I think it likes it uh, shorter. I mean, we'd need a speed duel for this one to sneak in there because it's a little bit slower. So this is a case where, where I'm going through it a second time. I'm not so crazy about the floor anymore. Who else? Does anybody else have up here as we move towards post? Uh, two nine exact to race two parks. I think you're looking good there, Austin. Um, so we'll get down. Let's get down to the nine because I was talking about that one. And I saw the bias speed figures. So let's shoot down to Austin's nine and the one that I was talking about earlier, the nine. Scotch Rocks, another closer, and another one that maybe likes it longer. But it did run once at this distance and registered an 81 Brisnet figure. Has the fourth highest power rating in the money, 17, nine times out of 17 at parks. 17 races, three wins, three seconds, three third, regular on the board. Um, last race it wasn't, but it was going a mile and 70. Laprida, Laprida, the jockey I was just talking about who usually rides the four, jumped off and goes on to the nine. So that's kind of a tell. And look at power rating of the four. Power rating of the four was, you see, the four did some decent, the four, I think, likes it longer. And going back to the two, the two likes this distance. On the board all three times, three, three races, two seconds and a third. Nine, let's talk about it. On the board, nine out of 19 tries. Uh, it's making the class drop. I like that. And when uh, now the trainer, Carl Jones, in, in, out of seven times, second half, <clears throat> second second start with the team, get this. Now, this is a second second start with the team. He The horse was claimed for 7,500. Right away, jumped it up to the 15K claiming ranks. Now, um, Jones is dropping it back down to the 7.5K 7 .7 claiming ranks. And when he um, second start with team, he wins 33% of the time. So that's out of 12 races, it wins one four of 12 times when uh, making the second start with the team and second start after the claim, 29%. And now he gets Laprida up, who's 15%. And he's returning to the sprint level. Not totally sold on this one, though. He's going to have to close into this. I do like the class drop. How close are we getting to post? Karen. Hey, Karen. Thanks for joining us. Good. Uh, Karen. Uh, two, one, four race. I like the four also. That my preliminary, I was on two, four. Good luck with that. Let's go back to Austin just for a second. He gave us a pick five, got the first one home at eight to one. And uh, Austin is right with you there, two, nine here in this second race. Okay, so if you're thinking about doubles or whatever, take a look at Austin races two and three. If you want to play a daily double you, you, and you want to use Austin's picks or even for pick three, these are some of his selections here. So I'm going to leave them up right now uh, while I continue to look at this race. Race. Okay, we got two minutes to post. It's, uh, it's time for me to make my folks. Race two. I'm going to look at the others real quick. Um, I stepped away for a second. So I think two is the one to beat. Okay. If Do we got any early speeds in here that like to go to the front? Uh, the one is a front runner, strong breeze. But uh, what about the one? Why do they have Jeremy Laprida listed on the. Oh, I'm looking at race. Okay. Early speed, race two. We really don't have an early speed type.
What about the six? Six races at parks, three seconds and a third. One for one at the distance, though. Gushing oil. Frankie Pennington up. Trainer Miguel Rodriguez, 24%. Pennington, 21%. Jock. Um, getting back to this distance. It's another closer. Let's look at the board. Six on the board at four to one. Exact to box one, two, no, two, four, six. I like the odds on the four. Let's get rid of the spam. And James White, hi, James. Welcome aboard. Six, I like the six. I'm liking the six, James. Good luck, James. Thanks for joining us. And thanks for giving you uh, race two. Exact the box. Two, four, six. Let me go back to this uh, PPs for a second. While we have a second here, at two, four, six. I think you're getting good odds there on that six. I think the two is clearly the one to beat. And let me go look at this gushing oil, 47. Has a race three back that fits. You get the connections, the jockey trainer. Two, that's the one I have circled. So uh, good luck, everybody. Let's see what's going on here. And they're just about in the gate. Man, they, sometimes they take a little while to load here at parks. Now the other, the the, the overlay looks like the four. I I don't know if it's going to win, but to play underneath it might not be bad. Um, anybody else here? Justin, two over one nine. Good luck, Justin. Live link for Park Chandy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'll look for one after this race over, Chandeep. I'll take a look for you if there is one. Maybe they do it on their website. And they're off. Uh, one is going for the front. It looks like it. Four is trailing the field. Nine is out front, too. Nine, one, two. Looks like the six is running. One, two, three, four, fifth. And now the one. And they're running up the back stretch. This is six and a half furlongs. Uh, one, the nine. No surprises, no real surprises up front here. Uh, I wouldn't surprise if it finishes in this order, uh, 179. And two is trying to make a lead, trying to make up some ground. Uh, the rest are a little bit. Six is coming through on the inside uh, and tracking the leaders. And uh, six is making a move. Another one's coming up the inside. Now the two is coming up the inside. Uh, the nine is running between horses. I think it's going to be one, uh, one, two, nine. Might be one, two, six. Now, I don't have the exacta here, folks. Two, one, nine. Uh, hopefully, this is boxed. Oh, brother. What is that? One. Two, 
It looks like one, two, six. I'm not sure. Photo for third. That's a head barb. It might be one, two, nine. Uh, I'm, I'm a little curious why the two was so far back. Let me look at this for a second. Two took all the money in show. Two should have been closer to the front there. No, I'm looking at, let me, wait, let me go back. That's the third race. Two definitely should have been closer to the front. I, I don't get it. One, two, six. I cut corners. Sh sh should have just boxed it. You were all over that. At least for the exactly, that's going to pay something. Maybe not much. Uh, because the two was so low. I think the two was over 2,000, 2,300 bucks in the, and even more when, 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 the, when the board closed and everybody else was under a, a thousand in the, in the show betting. You know, we got more time now to look at this next one. Uh, didn't you like the one coach? Uh, no, I didn't have the one. I didn't have the one. Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Okay. Talked about the live link for parks. Before we get cracking, I'm going to look for a live link, uh, Chandy. Good, good. Uh, glad you could make it. Link, Carlos, I am going to look for a link right now, too. Let me see if we can find a live, live stream. And I'm going to put the link up here if it's there. So give me a minute. Bear with me. We got plenty of time for race two. Uh, I mean, race three. All right, let's look for a parks link. Parks racing. Let me see if they have a live stream right on their website. Uh, let me see uh, parks. Okay, they don't have one there. Parks live stream. Let's try that. I can't show the I can't show the races here. When I first started that channel, I was doing it, and I got a warning that that's quite protected. There are different racing, so uh, live racing TV or something. There there are shows, TV shows that that charge to show the races, and I was showing them for free, so I got a warning. Otherwise, I would I would. I, you know, for some shows, I actually showed the races on, during the show. It'd be like, let's let's go to the race, and I put it up on the screen along with me on side, or maybe just the race itself without me there. And it was tremendous. Everyone loved it. I loved it. And but I can't do it. You know, I got the warning. Otherwise, I would. Uh, let's see. I think we might have something here, folks. Uh, let's see. No. I'm trying. All right, that link doesn't work. Let's try uh, videos, parks, live stream. Uh, let's go to YouTube and see if we got something up there. I'll give it a couple more minutes here. I'll give it a couple more tries. Otherwise, I would just say it's on um, it's on FanDuel TV. If you have FanDuel TV, I gather you don't. Otherwise, you wouldn't be asking. Uh, Parks, live racing. Let's see if this stream turned. I don't think we have it, folks. I don't think there's a live stream out there. You could use your wagering website. If they play the races. Parks Live Racing. I would say search in Google for it. I've given it a shot here. 
I'll try this one. I don't see one, folks. If anyone has a live stream for parks, let us know. Uh, uh, so we're going to get cracking on the next race. If anyone knows of a live stream for parks, otherwise I'll call the races here. I'll let you know what numbers win and do the best we can. But otherwise, um, I'm, like I'm using a wage platform here. I'm using... Uh, you know, I'm using quick bets and also uh, Naira, Naira bets. That's where the wagering website, they, they show it. You can sign up for TVG and you don't have to make a deposit up for TVG. And uh, deposit money, you can get the live stream. I don't know if, depending on where you are, um, you may not be able to uh, join TVG. I'll put it up here though, the link. Try this website and see what you get. Click on the link. Do the best I can here. Okay, it's broken up. There's a link there. Of, I, that, what a mess, right? Can they give us a cleaner link than that? TVG.com. Try this link. You know, if you join that that link, you'll be able to you'll be able to see the races. You don't have to deposit money. Okay, we're up to th race three here at Parks. What do we got? Preliminary, I am on the 1-2 exacta, 3360, 1670 for a dollar. Uh, that's uh, seven to one over three to five. No prices. The one killed the prices. All you know, if you were going to bet to even place and show, I mean, you got nothing because two took so much money and it did sneak in the second. Even the six to show only paid two forty. We got fourteen minutes to post. Preliminary, I'm on the two and four. All righty. I'm on the two and four, so let's start looking at those first. Uh, two open, five to one, and it's now bet down to seven to five. People, I guess, see the same thing I do. And the uh, three, two, and no, two and three I'm on. And the, the three, Bourbon Mission, uh, that one is open eight to one. It's taking money. It's five to one. And nine, somebody opened nine to two, and now it's two to one. In the pick threes, the two and the seven are taking the most money. Seven opened three to one, but now it's eight to one. No, seven, it just ticked down to seven to one. And Austin is the first to weigh in. Try box one, two, seven, nine. And seven to win place. Okay, so let's start looking at these. I'll start by talking about some of my early uh, picks here. We'll go to the race. Race three. I talked about the two. Now, this is the one that's taken all the money. Uh, has not raced at this distance. Now we, it's seven furlongs. It's dropping in class. Outrageous bet. Trainer John Kirby, 10%. Jock Adam Bauman, 8%. 10%. He's 13% overall, 10% uh, at Parks, John Kirby. Is there anything outstanding about, about this? It, it is uh, dropping a little bit. It's get, It has some summer, a little, it has a good closing kick, but it has a little bit of early speed as well. Uh, has finished second twice in a row at the 7,500 
claiming level, and now it takes a dip. It's, so it has only two races at parks, finished second twice, and that was the last two races with speed figures of 81 and 85. Granted, it was a little bit longer. This one might like it a little longer. Has no races at the distance, usually running in the route. These um, this has three career dirt races out of 72 starts. And it's outrageous bet. It, it, this horse was, um, this is seven furlongs for three-year-olds and up. And this one's an eight-year-old. Outrageous bet was a horse in the day, eight years old, 457,000 plus in earnings, almost a half a million in earnings on nine wins, 10 seconds and eight thirds. So it must've hit some big races back in the day. And it looks like those races were on turf. And it was, it's in here. Okay, it's running nice figures. But now it's turning to a sprint. Ran the fastest race last race, but again, that was at, you know, coming into the stretch at a mile 70, uh, it was still running fourth. And then it made its move and he slipped into second. Showed a, a little bit more speed in the slop, two back, but on a wet track, Sometimes a turf horse has the advantage because the turf horses have the wider hoof and uh, the wet track probably helped it run a little quicker early. So uh, I'm not 100% sold on this too at, at, at really low odds. To uh, now tick, it's down to eight to five. Let's, let's see if we can beat it. I really am not crazy, 13 post. How about my four? Then we're gonna start looking at the other horses. I just wanna get the, through the two that I, I like the best. They shot Sonny. That name sounds familiar too. Must be around for a while. Yeah, it's a hundred, 311 k earner. It looks like Parks is the place to go for once really successful horses that ran on the big circuits. And then they just, hey, they'll take it down a couple of notches. And they're still competitive now in another track. And they're probably geldings, whatever. Uh, they must be because they're not using them for breeding. So it's trying to squeeze every last drop out of that lemon and uh, continue their career. And uh, today, hey, what's the purse on this race? Purse $30,000 for a 5K claiming race. See, that's a hell of a purse. Again, I hate to beat Mountaineer. To, you know, I don't want to gang up on Mountaineer, but they have $4,000 claiming races for um, the $7,000 purse. I mean, this is a $30,000 purse, so we're talking some real money here. And this one, they shot Sonny. There's something I liked about it, but now I'm looking at it. I really don't like it as much. Uh, eight races at the distance as a first and three thirds. It's not as fair. It runs at the distance at parks, one win, two seconds, and nine thirds. 80. It has a big speed figure here in the past. You got to go back to March where it ran a race that's competitive. You see, now this is a case where I'm changing gears. Uh, I'm not big on the four anymore. Maybe 69 career races, 39 times, in, uh, 34 times in the money, finished third 15 times. All right, let's not waste too much time on that one. How about nine? nine uh, seven? Seven open, three to one. Uh, one for one at the distance has never raced at parks. Drops in class from 6K to 5K. Uh, goes to the high percentage jockey, Ruben Severa, 20%. Trainer, seven at parks, Gregory De Prima. Now we got a seven races, a second and two thirds, 0%. Uh, for 2022, <clears throat> Gregory is only 3% out of 79 races. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look somewhere else. Never raced on the track. Uh, did run at bigger circuits, Aqueduct, uh, the Naira circuit. It ran at Aqueduct, ran at Saratoga over the summer. Uh, never really posted any big numbers. It was posting big numbers uh, in June. I was running much higher level. After June, it was running... From January till June, it was running numbers that would smoke this bunch. Actually, February through June. And then something happened. Something happened was running in the 80s, upper 80s, and even in the 90s. And then after its race on June 16th, 
went to Saratoga and laid an egg, ran a 66, followed up with a 79 at a mile and an eighth. And then since then, uh, 68, 74, 65, 3% uh, trainer for the year. I'm looking somewhere else. I don't like seven and three to one. What about eight figures? Eight has three races, the seven-year-old, three races at parks, does have two-thirds, but does boast. And uh, as recently as, well, last year at Belmont in October, ran a 93 while winning at this distance. At Parks, last two tries at this distance, uh, 81.78. That's ballpark. And it does have a very strong closing kick. So I am moving. So now I'm between two and eight. Looking at eight, eight opens at four to one. Uh, Roberto Rosado, not much, no buy on Rosado, this trainer. Showed declining form in last start, failed his favorite in the last race. Suspicious drop in class today. Okay, it's dropping from um, 10K to 5K, but still, I, I think I like that it runs at this distance. At this distance, eight tries at first, second, and two thirds. Let's go to the nine, nine to two. I think it all goes through number two, folks. Nine's another one. Was running at Aqueduct and Belmont. And good close. really showed a good closing kick last race. The extra furlong could help. Uh, so far, I'm on, the, uh, I'm on the eight and the two. Is there somebody else who could sneak in there? Is there a speed horse in here? Three bourbon mission. Let's go up to three. Number three, two, three, bourbon mission. One for one at the distance. Two. I think three is going to try and jump out front. What happened last time? It got bumped at the start, dropping in class. Oh, it's coming down. All right. Anybody have any picks here? James White. Hey, James. Thanks for sharing your pick with us. Three, four. I, th I think the three is going to do something here. I think the three could be the lone speed in this race. Um, so James on the three, four with two, three, eight daily double. All right. Good luck, James. Carlos, third race. Seven, two, four, one. Carlos, good luck. Okay. I'll see. I'm going to put up my picks now. How much time do we got? Uh, four minutes. Still got plenty of time to get that in. Seven, nine, and exact is good luck. Golf. Hey, golf resort guy. Hey, golf resort guy. Comes right in firing. Good luck. Played the seven and nine in exotics. All right. Thanks for sharing your pick with us. And uh, what do we got here? Let me go to the buyer's figures again real quick. Nine is taking money. Uh, they got the class drop. Eight, the one I liked, now I see it's scratched, so forget that. I like the three. I think the two is the one to beat, not uh, seven. I got to look uh, between the seven and the nine here. Okay. All righty. What do we got? Justin. We got Justin weighing in. Uh, three, four, six box. Okay, good luck with there. You're laying off the two. I'm, the, the, the two scares me. I'd love for the two to miss the board. Um, oh, we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way here. Let me just see how much time do we got before post. I think the three could be the speed of the speed. You throw out the last race and Bourbon Mission, I think it's going to get a jump on this group. Seven furlongs. 
I mean, one for one at the distance with a nice figure. Uh, it's coming down in class. The two just has the numbers. I mean, by the numbers power, the only thing that could stop the two is uh, running out of real estate. If the race was a little longer, I would like it more. I don't, but I did not, you, the odds you're getting aren't too bad. Wait, let me take one last look at the nine before I put in a bet. I'm going to go D, uh, DD here, try the exam. Now, the last one ran at Finger Lakes at uh, six. James Bond, the trainer. Nine is definitely live. Has run a big figure at the distance. Was a winner in the day. Um, 153K in earnings. James Bond, 13% trainer. 11 now shipping in from Finger Lakes. Uh, has run at Belmont and that. The figures look a little light. You have to go back to April of 22 when it was running good. Uh, so I'm going to go with, <clears throat> I mean, let's look at the one. I'm not too keen on the nine. Uh, I'm going to go two, three in this race and in a double. What about the seven? Let me go back to this item. Race four, one minute to post. We got three scratches next race. Four, five, and six are scratched. All right. Daily double. Race three, daily double, two, three, with one, nine. Carlos, you must be reading my mind. I, I, I made this double before I saw your, your post. Two, three, with one, nine. I'm looking for the uh, three. I'm looking for a wire job here. I'm looking for it to get a, a jump on this field. Who else? Justin again. We got three, four, six. Justin, good luck. Seven, nine, and exotics. Good luck, golf resort guy. Two, four, six. Is that what you have here? Two, four, seven, eight. If that's what it is, like eight is not in there. It's scratch. Good luck, Carlos. I gave you the DD. And again, my, my selection. Two, three with one, nine. Uh, one minute. We still got one minute to post, so we can look this over just a little bit more. God still loved me, loves me. The eight next race does have a back race that can get it done. So let me look at the daily double. Who's getting the most money in the pools? In this race, uh, the seven now. No, the two is getting the most in the pools, followed closely by the um, – very closely by the seven. Seven has taken a lot of money in the pool. Uh, seven is taking the most money in the place betting. So keep an eye on that seven, folks, and, and uh, the nine, not so much. Uh, between the one, the three, and the nine, uh, they're, they're about even on the show betting uh, agenda. Show betting a little spread out. In the place betting, two is taking the most money in place betting. Uh, no, seven is taking the most money in the place betting. How about the doubles, daily doubles? They're starting to walk along the fence heading towards the gate. Let me see, daily doubles. Who's taking the money in the daily doubles? Now, I was on 1-9. One, 1-9 nine. One and nine are taking the most money in the doubles. So no real surprises there. Uh, the 8 is taking a little money in the doubles. But it's, it's all about 1-9. Uh, they, they're the two favorites in the daily double wagering, 1-9. So I think we're good there. Do we want to add a third daily double? No, I'm going to stay on the two, three. I think the two is going to be real hard to beat. I'm, I'm very certain. The thing about the two is, is seven, six, is the seven furlongs too short? And I like the three with the early speed. Uh, do we add the seven? I'm going to stay off it. If it beats me, it beats me. Good luck, everybody. They're getting in the gate.
screen last minute. Uh, Yusuf, eight not running. Thanks. Yeah, I saw that. Thanks for weighing in. You know, we got an informed crowd, folks. Good to see you, Yusuf. Thanks for joining us. Good luck, everybody. Here's my daily double, two, three. I think the two is going to be real hard to beat. I'm looking for the three with the early speed. Uh, let's see what happens here. Should be an interesting race. And the nine, I think the nine has some races that can get it done. How, how many can you pick, folks? James Bond, the trainer. If I was going to add another one, I would actually add the nine. But, hey, it's too late now. We'll sit tight. Not going to bet it. You can't pick them all. One, two, three with one nine. I like the eight. And then, you know, as Yakov said, it, 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 I saw it too. It, it, it scratched. It's a real shame because I really like that one. Craze, uh, Craze Brooklyn Law. They usually take a, they ha usually have a little, let's see if they can get them in there in a reasonable amount of time here. Now they're set up. Uh, look for uh, three to take the lead. Watch out for two. Two now down to three to two. I mean, two is the, is the uh, uh, you know, is the one to beat here, even though he's cutting back in distance. What gets me is the two open at five to one. Now he's three to two. And I, it doesn't look like three is showing the expected speed. Wonderful. Three opened eight to one, now eight to one. Where is the two? Is the two showing a little bit more? Two is running fourth. Okay, usually showing a little bit more early speed than usual. And eight to five on the two now, that's not bad at all. And the three ticked down to six to one, one leading the way, strong breeze. Open 10 to one, now five to one. The four, they shot sunny. Six to one, up to 15 to one. Three is running in fourth. Uh, the two is starting to make a move as they get closer to the turn. Uh, four running third. It's one, two, three. Uh, let's see. The two is running in second. Um, some of the others are starting to come. Um, who is that that's starting to move a little bit? Uh, the six is slipping in there at 20 to one. One, two. Is the two going to catch the one? I gather it is. Uh, the cream of the crop wins the race. I, eight to five odds were a, a, a great value on the two. Real estate, no problem. Anyone have the one here? No, two. I guess two. Or was it two, one? Strong breeze. Uh, three never showed the speed I expected. Uh, the six was 20, ended up 20 to one. Did the six catch the one? I'll tell you, if you were going to have a single last race, um, you know, if I could do it all over again. I'm not, this isn't one of those cases where I, I'll say I wouldn't change a thing. I would have just singled the two. I wouldn't have bothered, bothered too much with the exacta or a trifecta. I would have just let off a pick three or a double with the, with the two here. Yeah, this is a case where I would do it. I would make a change if I had it all to do over again. Uh, those of you with the two, great job. Uh, <coughs> hey, George, how's it going? Here's the 10. I'm in race four. Um, I do have, actually, George, I, you know, if you look at my race four uh, selections, I crossed off the six. Uh, the ones, I circled the nine, but I have one nine, and uh, I used the, I didn't use the 10 and the double. Wait a second. Am I cutting quarters again in that last play? I left out the 10. I only used one nine. And George here, thanks for the reminder, George. George is on the 10. Thanks for weighing in with your picks. I'm going to go back to the drawing board with the next play. Karen. Karen. Race three, seven, nine, two. Who got set? It was the one. I think it was two, one. All right. Thanks for weighing in, I guess. Ajani. Ajani, I looked all over. Um, here's what you can do. I, can't, I couldn't find a live screen. How you doing today? Thanks for joining us. Here, I put a live stream up here. 
you could join this website, okay? You can join, depending on where you are, you can join TVG. You don't have to deposit money. You can if you want another time and get a, a, a promo bonus. If You can join this website for free, and they will show the races for free if you join it, okay? TVG. Go to this website, Johnny, and uh, sign up. Doesn't cost you a penny, and they will show all the races. Okay, that's the best I could do. I looked for a link for live streams. I couldn't find one anywhere. TVG.com. That's where you can see the races. Can someone call race three for us, please? I called it. Um, yeah, I called it, and uh, the two one. That's the one thing I would change. For change, a lot of times I say I wouldn't change a thing. Uh, this time I wouldn't. I would thing. I would single two and use it in either a pick three or a double. Uh, they do. <laughs> okay, let's play some singles now. Okay, I'll tell you the one. Thanks, you got it, Johnny. Uh, Mike Lewis, win big today. Hey, Mike, welcome aboard. Let's win some money. Win big. Thanks for joining us. Can you believe this? We're one third of the way through the card already. And okay, let's get up some other races. Let's get get up the PPs and close some of the old ones. Race four, race five, race six. All right, just bear with me a second. I'm, I got my preliminary picks here, folks. All right, what do we got here? Outrageous bet, the two one exacta, forty two sixty. I didn't have the strong breeze though. That's the thing. Uh, um, that's a nice exact. The two one six fifty cents. They have fifty cent trifectas here. Two one six uh, fifty eight dollars for a three dollar box. And the, the one I couldn't have got the six at twenty to one. I didn't like the six, so I wasn't going to get that done. Enough about that. Let's go for. We got only seven entries here. Now let's start off with the 10. We'll talk about the 10. That's the one I have written down on my early picks. But then when I played the daily double, I only used the 1 9. Now the 1 open 6 to 1, currently 4 to 1. Let's, and the 9 open 9 to 2, currently 3 to 1. It very evenly matched, folks. We only have one that's dead on the board, the 7 at 12 to 1. But the other ones. They're all between three to one and six to one. So we have a pretty evenly matched race. What that tells me about this race is, uh, you, is there a case to be made for the seven who open eight to one is now 10 to one? Because what I like to do is toss horses that don't have a chance. Let's see if we can get rid of one that we can just concentrate on the others. Uh, never raced at parks. The trainer is 16%. Lewis Lindor was starting on the long shot, folks. Number seven, Baby Fade, has never raced at parks, has done all his running. I can imagine this is Phillies. Let's totally talk about the race. For Phillies and mares, three-year-olds and upwards, six furlongs. So we got a sprint here. Number one is the early speed. That's one of the ones I like. Open six to one. Was taking a lot of money in the doubles. Um, has a 73 top Brisnet figure. Never raced at parks, coming from a bigger circuit, Gulfstream Park. Tough race, folks. Let me look at that seven. Uh, top speed at the distance, 71. Top speed, 71 overall. I want to get rid of this one so I can concentrate on the others. Baby fade. 
one for six lifetime, and that win did come at the distance. Three tries at the distance, one winner. Uh, it's an early pace type to closing type, and it's one winner. <clears throat> was at maiden claiming 15K, broke its maiden by closing into the uh, winner's circle. Ran the six furlongs in 112 and one uh, on the tapita synthetic surface. So uh, all tapita in one turf. So this is a bit of a wild card. But the trainer, Lewis Linder, 16% trainer, and the tr jockey, Dexter Heideck, 12% trainer, uh, jockey. This may not be as simple as it looks. And that's not impossible, this one. <clears throat> the nine is, the nine looks like the one to beat at this, at first glance, just by, it has a lot of numbers. It likes it. It's, it, it, it runs better. It runs faster than the, uh, than the seven. Let's put it that way. At parks in the money, seven out of nine times, loves the distance. Six races at the distance, a first, two seconds, and two thirds. Uh, has decent early speed, but it also closes. One here at parks with an 80 speed or six furlongs, uh, ran second for the first two calls. Right there, uh, running at the second level. Uh, for 22 and 3, 46 and 4, the, the pace didn't bother it. It came on to win by four lengths, open lengths. That was in August. Race is 2 3 back and quick. The last race wasn't that, it got stuck dueling between horses last race. And it finished third behind Snappy Red. What number? It finished third behind the, the 10. But when you run between horses, I've talked about this before, that expends a lot of energy. I've heard this from multiple people. I've read about it. For whatever reason, when a horse runs between horses, it takes a lot out of them. It's almost like getting crowded on the rail, but even worse. Okay, now it has horses on both sides of them. It expends energy. And if you see a horse runs between and it still had a strong finish last race, uh, that means the horse has power. And that's what happened to this one last race. And it came in third, and the 10 came in second. But the nine wasn't cooked. It still managed to hang on for third and only finished a net behind the 10. So I like the nine over the 10 this race, considering it has earlier speed figures, uh, runs well at the distance, high percentage trainer, Juan Guerrero, 23% trainer, uh, solid jock, Abner, Adorno, 15%. Uh, Juan Guerrero is 22%. Does most of his racing at parks, Juan does. 125 races in 2022, and 120 of them are at parks, and he picks his spots with a 23% winning percentage. It, so far, nine looks like the one to beat. What about that 10? The 10 is the one I'm getting cheap with and getting ready to toss. Ten is a three-year-old. What happened last race? Okay, a rally to come in second last race, but if you go two back here at Parks, they ran a big figure here in 85, which probably, and won by open lengths, nine lengths, and it was leading the way. You know it's quick early. You can run quick early, but it can also close. Uh, based on that 85 two back, it got stuck running four, four wide and rallied. So don't look at that 69 or Brisnet if you're looking at Brisnet or buyer figure and get discouraged because it was running a very fast race, much faster than whatever the speed figure ind indicates because it was stuck running very wide, covered more distance probably than others. It probably ran a faster speed figure, but not a faster race. Yeah, uh, 10 must be used. So I'm on 10 and 9, 9 and 10. What about the 1? I'm going back to the 1 again. Do I toss the 1? I can't. I can't because the 1 is most likely the early speed. But he hasn't run at parks. But he's coming from Gulf Stream. And we got a 23% trainer. And this trainer, Guadalupe Presido, is 25% uh, when he ships. 
and he gets a jockey that's 15 percent has a workout of parks on November 17th and a workout of October 19th. Two nice workouts, fourth of 22, um, 49 seconds. And before that, it's been working out at parks. It hasn't, it's coming off a layoff. Now, this is an optional claimer, so it stays at the same level. Speed and the rail. Uh, it's been working regularly at parks since September. It's been off since March. And uh, this trainer with shippers is 25%. Three months away or more, 12%. No problem for Guadalupe, the layoffs. And the jock, 15%, Andy Hernandez. So I'm on the 1910. Uh, I don't know what the exacta payouts are. I don't know if I'm going to go an exacta or a key. Uh, if I was going to key anyone, I'd probably key the nine. Over the over and under the other two, or maybe the one, the early speed. Let's see. What do you think? How much time we got before post? Uh, eight minutes before post. Anyone have any ideas with this? The Traveler. Uh, Acton, we've been waiting for you. I'm on it, Carlos. I'm on it. You heard me. I'm on the 1910 here. I don't know how I'm going to use them yet. Acton effects. One has speed. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Acton. Excellent point. Thanks for sharing with us. Send your picks to Traveler. Okay, we got the Traveler here. Here he is, the car, the Traveler is. Hey guys, any booms yet? Um, no real big booms to think of yet. Uh, we could have had some booms if uh, a couple of us here uh, left horses out and got stingy. <laughs> Otherwise, there could have been. It could have been. And yes, there would be things I would change looking back. I got cheap again and, and it burned me. Yosef, watch out, two, two, nine, eight. All right. Thanks, Yosef. I'm going to take an extra look at that, too. Um, love the horse. That two moves in one race. Let's take a look at the two since we're getting some feed. We're getting some uh, multiple comments on that. I'll tell you what. Two is coming off a nice race that has a good shot to get this done. In the money, all three races at parks, a first and uh, first and second at the distance, 77. Trainer, 12%. Uh, Ernesto Padilla, jockey, 12%. Let's see the where it's nice workout, four of 19. Well, 50 seconds, it's not that fast, but the track might have not been that fast that way. It's working regularly. It's coming off a layoff and has a couple of workouts in the 15th, number 22nd. The trainers, uh, sometimes he needs one to get it going again. But I got to, and it's a three-year-old, okay? Hasn't raced since August. And remember, the three-year-old is still developing their cults until they become a horse at the age of five. It's been a few months, and it ran a 77 in its last race. So, you know, has every right every right to improve and it, you know from the last race here at parks I, yeah you got to use the two i'm adding the two to the mix so so far the ones i like them to know how do i use them now that's the question let's see what else we got here thanks for george and yusuf definitely adding that to uh, both of you at the excellent point that double look always helps uh, Austin, eight, ten, eight, nine, ten with three, eight in doubles. Now I have seven and eight doubles first look next race, seven and ten next race, but I'm going to look at that in a second. Justin, one, three, eight box. What's up with the eight? Eight is, guys talking about the eight here. When Justin talks, you got to listen, you got to go back for a second. God still loves me. Oh, uh, God still loves me. Now, this one has a strange pattern, and you horses tend to run in, in form cycles. And this one is a horse for the distance, six races, a first, set two seconds, and a third. I said earlier this was a competitive race, and it is. And this one has a pattern where he runs a good race, 
slips back a few, and then explodes forward with a good race. And now he slipped back a couple, did show some early speed last time, and now hasn't run since November 2nd, and according to this pattern, is due to explode forward for another good race. That fits. Wide open race, folks. Eight is definitely possible. What do you bet them all? I'm gonna have to make a. I'm gonna have to make a decision here. Uh, the two is the best one. I like the two for underneath. Maybe you want. You know the odds. Uh, the odds. You know if you throw out the seven, five to two and five, five to two and five to one. Separate them all. If you're gonna hit all for a race, this is the race. You only got six of them. If you're really hell bent on hitting a double. And we're going to go look briefly at the double. Ashley. Ashley, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, 8910 with 8910. Austin. Um, yeah, we're here at Parks. We just, we just finished one third of the card. Can you believe one third of the card's over? No, we, not one third of the card. There are 11 races, 11 races at Parks today. Parks, four, five, six. Yeah, correct. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, we got that. Four, thanks for the heads up, everyone. If those of you just joining now and you're penning on the four, five, six, Mike, let us know. They are scratched. Don't waste your time. I'm playing one and seven. One and seven, hoping a new face can be the obvious one. Hey, the one is definitely live. One has the early speed. Uh, Garcia, we got make some money. Yeah. Ashley, the two is nice, closed against huge speed. The two, yeah, the two. Definitely. Two is live. And uh, how much time we got before this race? I got to get the pick in. Uh, we got three minutes to post. Let's look at the will pays here. Pools. Let's look at the pools and let's look at the positive probables. Who's taking money in the pools? 10 is taking the most place money. 9 is taking the most show money. The second most place money is the 2. How about the 7? Seven? 7 dead on the board in the show betting. How about the doubles? Probably. Let's look at exactus. Who's who's? Where is the cheapest money in the exactus? Uh, ten nine nine ten. That's the cheapest payout in the doubles. Nine ten pays nineteen. Ten nine pays nineteen twenty. How about seven? Anyone paying low? Uh, nine seven forty four sixty. Ten seven forty twenty. No, 9-7-121-80 and 10-7-121-80 and 10-7-121-40. 10 2 40 2 The one, the early speed. What about the early speed? We saw an early speed last race, and it didn't show any early speed at all. How about the one? 1966, 110, 1959. Now, one nine pays less than nine one. One ten doesn't pay less than ten one. Very competitive race. We got two minutes to post. We got to get in our play. We're going to take a quick, since we got two minutes, we're going to take a quick look at next race. I think the seven is a sneaky horse next race. Very tough next race. (laughs) 
Just looking at the three. Anyone really in great form next race? I, I'm on 7-10 next race from the first time through. Next race, they have furlongs. All righty, let's look at the payoffs one more time. Don't have much time, folks. Doing the best I can here. Seven is scratch next race. Just gonna look at the eight. What about the ten? Really getting close. All righty. Let's go this way. Um, all righty, <clears throat> we'll do it this way. my play okay we got these two three eight okay two three eight with four ten thanks for joining us james white you got it al okay let me get my pick in here geez an exact of uh nine over two eight let me get that and i'll get everybody else's picks in too I want to get everybody's picks in here. We have action, Acton, 10 one 2 try box. I think you can get this. I, they're all live. Uh, she's going to be all right, Ashley. She's been in the game since a baby. Okay. We got 9 over 2-8, exacta box. Not exacta box, just exacta. Good luck, everybody. They're loading up. Uh, race 4. Race 4 at Parks. And this, a very competitive race. I mean, the 10 is live, the two, the one is the early speed. I expect one to be leading the way. And they're off. Okay, one gets, a, okay, one is coming out. It is showing that speed. And one was bet down, golden bow, bow from six to one to four to one, uh, three, four. Are you kidding me here? Okay, the eight is there. God still loves me. Uh, running second, the Furminator um, really moved up. Uh, the nine, uh, the 10 is the favorite right now. Opened at uh, seven to two, two to one. And we're running three, one. The one not showing, it's getting pressed more so than I thought it would. Here comes that two. And seven is the outside. They're running four across the track here. Uh, somebody eight is coming up the outfit, coming in. That's the nine there. Now bet down to two to one. And here comes nine, but it's a charge down the field, folks. This is uh, wide open here. Uh, they're coming to the finish. The seven is moving a little bit, but now the nine gets a little bit more separation than two leading the way. I think that two is going to do it. Every, great job, everyone who played the two. Uh, we don't get the exacta. I went with the nine on top, 
and maybe I should have boxed him. Uh, two went off at five to one. What is the two nine exact to pay? What does the two nine exact? Great job, everyone who mentioned weighed in on that two there. Uh, exact the two nine forty eighty. 20 to one on that exacta. That is a nice payout with two horses that really figured. And that seven, that bomb, seven was the bomb and rounds out the trifecta. I think somebody had that seven in the try. Uh, the traveler too, we gotta go back. Uh, win place, two. Great job, the Traveler comes through. We got a nice hit there. Beautiful job, the Traveler. Thanks. See, easy game, folks. We got the players right here. Uh, Ashley, great job. Had the two. Uh, let's go back, back in time. Ashley, great job, Ashley. And uh, great job, um, the Traveler. Two to win place. Beautiful, beautiful job. Uh, who else? Travel, let us know who nine likes to hang. I guess he did hang. He was coming around that turn there. Looked like he was making a big move and uh, stopped coming. Who else? I try and go back and give the people. Those of you who won, uh, double, you saw, double, two, nine, eight, great job. You get a five to one to start the double. Excellent. You saw, watch out for two. Tremendous. And there was another one. Somebody had mentioned the two earlier. Uh, George, love horses shows two moves in, you know, one race ten. Great job, George. Excellent, excellent players here. Thanks for participating, everybody. Live shows. We pretty much do live shows, racing shows, covering entire cards from uh, race one right through the entire card. We got eleven today. We're a third of the way through the uh, card, and we still got eight big races left. Um, if you like the show, subscribe. This way, you know when we get notification of upcoming live uh, shows. You know when we're going to be out here. Not just me, we've got big players, excellent players out here. You see them giving out hits here, folks. And uh, you say, I want to make some money. Hey, Al's live. And join the crowd and uh, win some money. So, And here we are Monday at Parks. Mike Lewis, win first leg and pick four. All right. Uh, I've got to heat up the coffee. Uh, preliminary... Let me see. My preliminary picks, uh, exacta, two nine exacta, five dollars. Oh, that is a hell of an exacta. A great job, uh, Yusuf, because that paid like forty bucks. You're talking eighty, uh, you know, hundred dollars for a five dollar bet there. Uh, excellent job. So, you see, we got it. Seven broke bad. I may have had the best horse. Uh, I didn't see that seven, but I'll take a look at that. Toprak. Welcome, Toprak. Shackle Cat. All right. Um, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to heat coffee again. You know, just time goes. I'm not drinking the coffee. I'm going to get some ice water. Get the green cup, the color of money. Uh, be right back. Heating coffee and ice water. Water. My preliminary selections here. Very contenders. Give me something to look at. Now this could change. I've been through the card once. All right, I'll be back in just a little bit. We've got my preliminary contenders. I think we've got plenty of time. Uh, race 19 minutes to post. I'll, I'll be back in just a little bit. Tennis scratched. Is that a late scratch? Are you kidding me? Seven and 10 are scratched? Forget the... Jeez. <coughs> we did it again. Yeah, we did it again, folks. 
you had the exact coach. You, <coughs> I did it again. Thanks for the reminder, Charles. Yes. All right. I'll just be right back. My two horses are scratched. I don't know if they're late scratches. They were alive. They were around earlier. What kind of luck is that? I, I give two picks and both are scratched. I can't get past the eight in this one. I can't get past the eight either. Um, I did look at the eight, Ashley. And let me just talk about it a second before I heat up the coffee. Now you got me going again. He's got it. How do they scratch the two horses that I like best? Now, this race is five furlong, six and a half, another six and a half furlong race. I I don't like the two. It does have a good seven furlongs. This is a six and a half furlong race, claiming 7,500, purse 30,000. For three-year-olds and upward, which have never won two races, or Pennsylvania breads, which have never won three races. If you're a three-year-old, you get a three-pound weight break. So there's any, and weight does make a difference. It's carrying extra weight. Some people say, oh, they're strong animals. It doesn't make a difference. The aerodynamics, the extra three pounds could slow them down. They say five pounds could be equal to about a length or so, between one and two lengths. Yeah, it makes that much of a difference. And uh, so three pounds, you see, so you're talking about maybe a length. I think Mr. Turtle seems to like the distance, and I like that it can close or it can move a little quicker early. 12% trainer, 15% uh, jock. Uh, let's look at that eight. Four, I think likes it a little longer. Uh, it's an early speed type though, the four. Four has big early speed. Don't tell me that one's scratched, please. Already I like, the, I like the big early speed on the four. Does now go in seven, uh, did run out of gas a little bit. It has two, four races at parks, two thirds. Never ran this uh, six and a half furlongs. But by the numbers, it's uh, and the speed edge, it does run quick fractions here. It's going to go. The four is going to be on the muscle. The five has early speed too. <clears throat> five races at parks, uh, one third. Never ran this six and a half. I don't think this one's quite as fast as the four. So for a uh, preliminary four. Four's quickest race, two, two for four at parks. I can live with that. Fourth highest power rating. I know the power uh, power rating. <clears throat> That's a computer generated number. It's more, you know, based on everywhere. So I'm looking. You got to keep that in mind. You know, it's just a, a nice something nice to see to give you an idea. Uh, eight. What about eight? Eight is uh, doesn't like the distance really. Never ran at parks, but it's been running at a higher circuit. Trainer is 0 for 7 at parks. James Ryerson. Ryerson is 8% overall. Gets Jose Gomez, who's uh, doing du pulling double duty here, was running at Aqueduct over the weekend. And now he slips to parks. Aqueduct, he's a 3% jock, two per low percentage jock, but at parks, he's like one of the big men on campus. 3%, 13% here at Parks, 12% overall. He moves around. So he's coming from a tougher circuit, uh, dropping in class today, uh, running on turf, has his dirt numbers. Um, yeah, you got to use the eight. So far, I'm on four and eight. Let me go down to nine. Uh 
Nine, I, I'm not crazy about the nine. I don't like uh, three races at parks, real, no, really nothing. Last race was horrendous. Uh, his run at Penn uh, doesn't, really doesn't show anything at parks. 11%, uh, 19% jock is good. 11% trainer, but otherwise I, I prefer others. The trainer, Carlos Soto, though, has won two races and four tries in the last two weeks. Uh, still still not for me. 10, we said, is scratched. Let's look at 11. Can 11, you know, break, crash the party? A four-year-old. Um, it does have a fast work, work, uh, race at Tampa. That can win this. I got, I'm on four. My preliminary contenders are four, eight, eleven. Has some early speed. Uh, Jorge Diaz, seven percent. The Jock, though, Ruben Silvera, twenty percent. Has a workout November fourteenth, which I guess was just. They always work. I don't like the slow workouts here. It's, it looks like it's moving up in class from claiming five to claiming seven point five. Uh, might be part of the early pace. So 4, 8, 11 are the preliminaries. 12 minutes to post. Do we even have time to do this? Let's take a look. Um, Ashley, you're almost uh, on the same ones as me here. I think one of these are, are going to prevail. Eight is going to be tough. I mean, if you want to go eight over 4, 11 and 4, 11 over eight and stick eight in the middle, or do you pick one of the longer ones? Nine could transfer from Penn. That would be interesting. I'm not crazy about the nine. Austin playing the eight win races, five, four starting uh, race six. Okay, we got the early pick four. Um, six trainer has good second off layoff numbers. Let's look at that real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think the number, I think the overall, I think it's too slow. Uh, I don't like it. He's one did win a race at Parks. At seven in the mud. Mm, it's not for me. Excellent point, though. Second off the layoff, 14%. That's Philip Aristone. Not for me. I'm on, uh, I'll be right back. Preliminary four eight eleven. Um, base five. I like these early speed. Preliminary contenders for race five, four, eight, eleven. All right. Hang tight. I got to heat up the coffee. We've got 10 minutes. All right. We're in good shape. All right. Anybody else has anything here? Thanks, everybody, for joining us. It's a great show so far. Monday afternoon, 11 races. Uh, into race five. Uh, be right back. Okay.
All right, we're back. Plenty of racing. How many minutes to post? Hot coffee. Ice water, fresh ice water. Green cup, the color of money. <clears throat> Let's make it count. When I went to that the other day, I hit that first race. How many minutes to post? Four minutes to post. It's crunch time. What have we got in the sixth? Who do I like in the sixth? Because I'm thinking double for this race. Just make sure there's no scratches, no, no surprise scratches in the six. We got a full field in race six. I, I think the three is going to be really, yeah, I, I, I like the three. I thought that one is dangerous. Dalton uh, comes in off the big last race, but even the race two back is good enough to get it done. It could regress and, and still win that race. Now, that next race is filled with some early speed, and the three is the speed of the speed, really. Uh, well, it ran the fastest last pace last race, but he's, that doesn't need the front. The speed of the speed. I mean, Shaq, Dalton's the favorite. I think he benefits from the pace because the six, seven, and the four Let me just check how they do. Yeah, I, that next race is at five and a half furlong, so we got a sprint, and that one uh, is one four tries at parks, a win, and a third. Won the last race, uh, pretty much wiring the field, and it's a pressing type. It doesn't need the lead, and at 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 the distance, five times in the money, uh, three five times in the money out of five tries at the distance, five and a half, a win, a second, and a third. Apaco Lopez on the six. That one runs quick early. Uh, four four times in the money out of five at parks. Excellent at the distance. The seven's going to give him some fits early. I, I like three and I'm on the ones I landed on next race are three and six. Now, how do we double this up? What do we do here? Can I land on a single? I want a single for this race. Where is live coming from? Coming from New York, New York here in the USA. Uh, where else? George, uh, three win place show, uh, the traveler, um, four, <clears throat> seven, ten. This, yeah, that's scratch. Thanks, George. Uh, three, eight. Yusuf had the nice pick last race. Uh, let me just go up. Karen, good luck. Eight, five, eleven. I like four, eight, eleven best. Um, how many minutes to post? Uh, two minutes. We're still good. Let's see who else? James White. Good luck, Karen. Uh, four, eleven. Yeah, four, eleven. They're dangerous, definitely. Now the eight is is dangerous too. With two, five, six. Live link, uh, advocate, uh, go here and join. You can join for free and you can see the races. Um, advocate, tvg.com. Go to that website. There's no link that just shows them live. Go here, join. It's free and you can see the races live. Ashley, uh, I am playing 1832 combos. Good luck. All right. Let, let our James Wright, 211, 256, daily double. Uh, I think three, six are the way, I think six, <clears throat> six is the most likely winner next race, but who knows? Let's get in my way, uh, my play here. One, uh, really one minute to post. How, you know, I like four, eight, four scratched. I'm going to do a double. They're getting in the gate. I am going to, you know, go for the odds here. Oh, jeez. Eight eleven was six. Race five. D D. Eight, 11 with three, six.
Good luck, everybody. 811 with 36. I, I think that's where we're going to go. We need the eight, get eight or 11 home. We're just looking at this. I like the speed on the um, 11. Okay, good luck, everybody. Just about ready for for a start here. They're just about all in. Uh, the eight bet down to five to two. The three is the favorite at two to one. I, I like the speed on the eleven. That's why I included that one, even though it started off at uh, ten to one. It's bet down to nine to two, but uh, they're backing one out here. Let me just go back to this. Uh, we got a shipper here. We got the top jock, uh, 20%. Did show speed at Penn. It's run at higher surf uh, circuits. Let's see what we got here. Uh, 11 looks like he got out good. The one got stuck a little bit. The nine showing some speed. Uh, and the 11 sits off the nine, running second. Uh, so those two set, though we got some separation in the field. Now 11 looks like he's, they're going neck and neck. And six is running a, uh, we got six and the favorite eight running second, third. Chain reaction, ran poorly last race, but we, yeah, we expected better today. 11 drifts up to five to one, nine running third. As they head up the back stretch, now this is, uh, nine gets some separation. Eight running fourth. Uh, this looks like five is coming up. It looks like 11 is throwing it soon. Yeah, he's starting to fade. 11 not going to be part of this. Five running second. Here comes the one. I think we have a one nine player in here. I didn't have it at all. I didn't I didn't have the one. I didn't have the 11. And this is going to pay something. Wow. Let's see if anyone had this. Five did a nice job. Nine, act in effects. Nine has a chance in there. Good call, James. You got it done. That sometimes you got to do that. That was a great guy. Acting, great call. Great, great call. Congrats on a, a tremendous call. Thanks for sharing that with us. Um, no one really liked the eleven. I didn't like it either. Look like uh, Acting is the one that got it done. Tremendous. Thanks for joining, sharing your pick, uh, Carlos. Yes. On to race six. Let's go back. Again, I had the best horse. At, Ashley, did you have? Oh. Now, I'm looking at parks here, nine. Oh, <laughs> look at this. It's going to be a nice exact of this nine one. Look at this. I'm going to look at the nine horse for a second. See what the hell was, what the hell happened here. The nine hung on. I mean, it, it out, outran the, went off at seven to one, but either three did nothing. Nine one, 71 to one odds going to get paid. That's $142 exacta. Try is going to be big too. Okay. We'll move, we'll move ahead to race six. I think race six, you could pretty much narrow this one down. No, seven to one over 13 to one over five to one. And look at the super number.
over the six, 17 to one. Balloons at parks. Were they playing games? What about that nine? Let's take a look. Nine showed early speed like never before. Well, it showed early speed like that at Penn once. Showed no speed at all last race. Drops in class. 0 for 3 at parks with slow speed figures. Yeah, that 9 was mentioned earlier. Horrible power rating, ranked 10th. What happened here? Were they playing games at parks? 19% jock, 11% trainer. First day after the claim, they claimed him. They claimed him at 12.5 and then dropped him right away to 7.5. I guess they got that money back. What was the purse? 30000 18000 They made money. They stole the purse and got rid of the horse if it was claimed. Nice job. Nice job to the connections. Congratulations. I just don't see it. All right, on race six. Almost to just about the halfway point right now. Out of six. Now we're starting the six. Now we're starting the last six. We have final five races of the day. Uh, let's see. Wait, seven. Can we do a pick three here? I'm not going to try any pick fives. All right, race six. 19 minutes to post. Carry over jackpot for the pick five, 7,300. Uh, let's get some prices. 10 cents super, $344. Box 9157, you make seven thousand. Uh, you make $344. Exact to 7120 for a buck. Trifecta, a dollar, uh, 455. The daily double, 109. Can never hit that daily double. There, I would do nothing differently. Horrible break. I had the one. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Ten. Mike Lewis, good, great job. You won that second leg. Excellent. Congrats. Excellent. Always another race, Ashley. Race six, three, four, five, six. Carlos, three, six, five, four box. Race six. Let's take a look. We'll look at that. I like three and six for sure. I knew I had the double. Ashley, we no games. We said if he transferred form, he was competitive, right? Jahan, hola, hello, hola. How's it going? Thanks for joining us. Jahan Romero. In the house. Awesome. I hit the all button. Pick four. You can't, you can't bet the chalk here. Great job, Austin. All right. I can never get a handle on parks. Parks can be tricky sometimes. I hear you. I'm trying to be really careful with this. I'm not going nuts. Again, this track has a history of playing some games. Not all the races, but some of them. James White. All right, James. Pick three, two, five, six, two, three, all. All in the third leg. Uh, let me just look at that third leg real quick. We have eight entries there. Let me just see if there's any scratches here. We're on race six, no scratches. On race seven, no scratches. On rate ace, okay, we got no scratches to land the six, seven, eight, no scratches in the ninth, no scratches in the tenth, and only one scratch in the eleventh. So we're pretty smooth sailing now for the next five, next five races. Six races left, <clears throat> right smack dab in the middle of the card. Eleven races today. Race six is the exact is the middle of the card. So here we are. Where does time go? Feels like we just started. Uh, uh, God, it just seems it seems like we just started. We're six races in. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, James gives us the, you know, James and Carlos give us the first place, 256 all. And Carlos comes in with the 5634 is not bad. Great job. I, I think your three and six are going to get in there. Now we got to look at the four and five. I'll start looking at them. The, the six is uh, three, six are the standouts. They're the two to beat. <clears throat> Those are the ones I used in the pick three. So let's see what the heck is going on here. We got James White with his uh, pick three play. So we'll leave that one up now uh, while I delve into this race six. Race six, seven entries. And the two that I like best are the chalks, two to one and five to two. And believe it or not, you know, the three is two to one, the six is nine to five, but the five is bet down to uh, five to two. What about the four? The four, I mean, those are the you know, three, four, five, six. I, I think you should hit the trifecta out of, or trifecta out of, if you box those. But the thing is, is it even, are you going to get your money back if you box those four? Let's look at the payouts. Is a four horse box worth it when you're all chalk? You'd want the four to win up, obviously. You know, if it comes in three six and you box four for the exacta, you'll hit the exacta and lose money. It pays, uh, you know, if you're playing it for a buck, you'll get back 1050 after betting 12. And if you bet six three, it's the same thing. Uh, tw you know, 1050 back. Uh, what about four? Three, four, that you make money with. Three, five, you're going to lose money on that exacta. The whole key to that box is getting the four to either win the race or have a, uh, you know, a four, five exacta, that'll pay 30 to one. And a five, four exacta, that'll pay 25 to one. So I don't know about boxing that. <clears throat> I would lead. I think they were three or six are your safe bets. So let's go and take a three and six look really solid. So let's take a look at the four and five and see if they have a chance to upset the three or the six. Four ran a horrible race list. Now this is a five and a half for a long race. What about the one? Okay, let's start first. First things first. What about the two? Two in a big race, two back. That's that's why I'm talking about the two. All the money is getting paid on three, six, and the doubles, either 66 or 58. Pick threes. Three and the six are favored, but the five has taken some money. This champion by design. Three's taken the most money. Now, you know why the five has taken money. You got a very dangerous trainer there in Jamie Ness. But let's take it. Let's see if it goes deeper than the trainer. Jamie Ness is 29% at parks. And you got Jose Gomez up, who's been riding at a tougher circuit. He's 13% at parks. A wire threat. This never ran at the distance, but it's six tries at parks, has two firsts and a second. And the connections out of the last three. A second and two firsts right here at Parks. Early speed. <clears throat> second highest power rating. Ran second versus similar. It's a $7,500 claiming race. And champion by design has run at this distance the last three times. Uh, the question is now if he cuts back, he's running 22 second opening quarters, um, first calls. How does that stack up in speed versus the others? And the four is big early speed as well, has a big race. It's run, seems to do its best racing in the mud. Two for four at parks. And both times on a wet track. Last race, it was eased, walked off. <clears throat> and that was on uh, Halloween, October 31st. Trainer, 7%. Dropping two classes, the four is. And this trainer, when he drops two classes, uh, Michael Arrow, 0 for, 0 for 5. 
7% trainer at parks and elsewhere for 2022. 41 of his 45 races have taken place at parks. Uh, Jaron Barbosa is a 15% jock. Now, the best thing this has going for it it, 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 it did win at Gulfstream back in February, wiring the field at this distance. At the distance, one for five. At parks, two for four, again on a wet track. Part of the pace, folks. Six shackle cat, <clears throat> five races, two first, a second, and a third. Big early speed, the jockey Paco Lopez is 29% here. He's going to be, be challenged up front. Last two times at this distance, ran second and third here at Parks. And he did wire the field at Parks. Um, so it had to. It's last race. What happened last race at Six Furlong? Pressed the winner and faded. I don't think the six is automatic at all. Seven also has big early speed. This is going to be a, a speed duel for the ages. <clears throat> I think this, this race sets up for the five. What are we Austin. All two, all five, six. Okay, good luck, Austin. I think I'm landing on the five here. It's just a single win place. You know, I'm not going to be greedy. I, the 29% trainer, I, it sets the race sets up nice. Ashley, exactly. If you're playing exact, the four has to be in position one or two and is getting class relief. Yeah, the four is a good price. So, uh, Carlos, yeah, you might be, I, you're, I think you're good to go with a three, four, five, six. The only long shot that interests me, I think, is the two. I'm going to go look back at that again. Race six, five to win. Yeah, Jose Gomez, you know, he's, he's, he's uh, you know, it's proven himself. He's coming up with some good ones, and he's experienced here. He's raced at Aqueduct over the weekend, pulling the double shift. <clears throat> Justin, uh, one, four, five box. The five, I think, has a shot, and the four, as Ashley said, has uh, excellent early speed, getting class relief. The one, we got to go back. Coach is known as the Prince of Parks, in case you didn't know. Yeah, that, <clears throat> now that it's, now that's a true story. I was doing racing reports and, and giving out my picks online uh, some years ago when, um, a few years in, once I started winning consistently, and uh, someone said, I was giving out so many winners at parks, they said, you need a nickname. I'm going to call you the Prince of Parks. And uh, thanks for the reminder there, Charles. It's been a while since I you know, mentioned that. I did on some of my shows in the past. But yeah, Prince of Parks, that, that's, well, that was, I was given that nickname. So I got to keep that in mind going forward today. Come on, Prince of Parks, I got to start getting it in gear here. But some of you are. Uh, Giacomo, good to see you. Pay 20 exact to 5152. I think you're in good shape with the five. I talked about the two. I'm going to go back to that two in a minute. It's a long price. And we'll go there. James White, he's been hot today, I believe. And pick four, two, five, six. We'll leave that up. <clears throat> Mike Palmer, I can't show it live on the show. Otherwise, I would. I don't have the rights to the show. I did that in the past, got a warning. But Mike, Mikey Palmer, thanks for joining us. I go to I have some good news. Join this show. Go to this website. T TMG TVG. Go to this website. You can join TVG for free, and they will show all the races, Mike, Mikey. Go to this, tvg.com, join, and Mikey, uh, you don't have to deposit a penny, but by joining, you will be able to watch the races live from tvg.com. Otherwise, I look before there are no links. Uh, five win place, I think you read my mind, Traveler. <clears throat> That's what I'm looking at. <clears throat> Busting your balls since the beginning, yeah. Charles Lasich. Race six tips, be hit. 
We're going to get to that. How many minutes to post? Good to see you, Bihik. Bihik Turkman. We're going to give out some picks. We've got some picks. Look back at the chat. We have some winning players here giving picks already. Justin, 145 box. Very live. Hey, glad you could join us, Mikey. Check out that website. Let us know how it goes. How many minutes to parks? Six minutes to parks. Here is who the track analyst likes. <clears throat> parks analyst. Now, take this with a grain of salt, folks. A lot of these guys are horrible. See, this is what the parks analyst picks. They didn't show his name. Parks analyst. I agree on the five. If I was going to key a horse in the exact, it would be the five. The six gets Paco Lopez, the big jock. Uh, race seven. Do we have a standout in race seven? We'll look at my picks there. Race. Just looking at something. Bear with me. I want to give you something here. Now, the next race is a mile and 70. I'm just... <clears throat> There's no scratches next race. All right. How many minutes uh, to tell us? Four minutes. We're still in comments. Act and effects. Had the nice winner last race, 763. I think it goes for 3 6. I think the 5 is going to be there. Let's go back. Now, I'm on two next race. I have two circled as uh, actually my pick of the day. <clears throat> race seven pick of the day, two next race. So I'm going to stick with that. If I give it as a pick of the day, you know, <clears throat> glad I looked ahead. It's a reminder. <clears throat> race pick of the day. Not this race. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, pick of the day, number two, race seven. So that'd be my single. And and Austin, yeah, you're on it too. The set, the two next race, it just stands out. It's inside. It has good speed. It has you know, big numbers. You know, it, it, it's the cream of the crop there. If I had to make a case for anyone else next race, and, and it's and it's a small case, and it's a small case, I would um, I would use eight, Jamie Ness. So if you want to protect, <clears throat> follow, you know, I'd go two, three of the two standouts for me next week. Three has early speed, hasn't won in a while, but has big back numbers at parks, and it's been shifting around. So even though two is my pick of the day, I'm going to use two, three in the double. Leg. So let me get my first leg. Can I bet a 1,000 on that? Okay, how many minutes to post? Uh, one minute to post. Let me get my thing in here. Uh, six is taking the money. I'm not going to try and beat Jamie Ness. Here's where we're going to go. Daily double this race. Nuri, six winner. My play, race six. Daily double, five with two, three. 
That's my play here, folks. I told you I'll get the pick in. I try and get it in as close to post. <clears throat> Five with two, three. I'm on Ness. Uh, get, get, getting three to one, so we're getting some money here. Paco Lopez taking money as expected. I like the early pace. I like how he's running. Um, see how close they are to getting in. One minute to post. Do I add another one to this daily double? The three or the six? They're both two to one. What about the two? There was something about that two that intrigued me. Yes. Uh, the race two back is good enough. And I think the early pace, what are the odds on the two? Brother, do we have time to do this? I may add two, maybe a two show bet. I mean, the two runs its race, it can win. No, I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay, wait a second. I think the race sets up for the two. Let's put in a show bet on the two, folks. Let's see if we could uh, get something here. Fourteen to one. I like the race two back. Okay, we got five with two, three daily, daily double. Oh, how close are we to getting in? They're not close yet. 2,000. I should put 2,000 on the two to show, folks. <clears throat> uh, side bet, uh, dead double, five with two, three, and number two to show. Okay, I, I think that I think that two, the pace sets up a little bit here. These are my selections, two, three, five with two, three in the daily double, and number two to show. <clears throat> I think with all the early speed, the two might close into something as a race two back that fits. One, two, seven. <clears throat> Good luck, Austin. You'll get paid for this one. Do we have time to look at the one? Uh, they're just about in. We have a second to look at the one. They usually have a little trouble loading at this place. One looks a little light. Yep. You'll get paid, that's for sure. 7% trainer, Yabriel Ramos, the jock. Good luck. Hey, it was, it had some quick, fast fractions last race here and turn them back to five and a half. Maybe it holds. Who knows? Best of luck, everybody. Enjoy the race. Let's make some money. I'm with five on this to win over uh, with two, three. In the and I got the two, a side bet, two to show. It was on the board at uh, 15 to one. And they're off. Uh, the early speeds, who's showing the speed five, the dangerous Jamie Ness trainer, uh, the three and six are co-favorites at two to one, five is two, five to two. Uh, Carlos has three, four, five, six box, uh, four showing that speed is expected. Uh, five, not flashing the speed running in fourth. Uh, let's see, here comes the one. Where's the two, two trailing the field. Uh, one starting move, uh, the four is at six to one. Uh, four and six with uh, Paco Lopez. Uh, no, not you. Paco Lopez leading the way. Paco Lopez, a dangerous trainer at this track. And Paco starts to slip away. Paco 29 at this place. Does Paco have enough left in the tank? Uh, one re-engaging. It's the, the, the five is not going to get there for Ness. I got to root for my two. Where is he? Two, where are you? Two, where are you? And it's going to be six, one. 613 most likely. Uh, the three slips into second. 63. Would have hit the double. Two just didn't have anything. And um, I think it was uh, a shame that one got caught. Yeah, the, so the chalk comes in. Uh, the 63, I mean, Ness uh, didn't show the speed that we expected. Uh, the one was there. What happened to the one? What a fade by the one. 
Come on. Well, I'm still rooting for the one, even though I know he lost already. What happened here? What happened here? Did he hold them back? Why is he not slapping the – let him go right through. Let him go right through. Why didn't the one go to the damn rail? I – poor job by the jock on the one, Ramos. He should have had that, that, that place position. All right. Did we have anybody uh, connecting here? Let's look back. Uh, Mikey. Uh, okay, hang tough. There's always enough sharing with us, Mike. Nuri. Nuri. Great. Oh, you picked the one. Yeah, oh, I thought that we had six there for a second. Let's go back. Let's go back. I want to give everybody credit who pulled this. 364 box. Great job, Karen. Got hope you got the exacta there. Three three six. All right. Excellent job, Karen. Uh uh, let's see. Mikey, did you get the video for that race? Let us know. Uh God bless you, coach. Thank you, Charles. Gotta get this going. Prince of Parks. Uh three. Mm -hmm. God, I mean, I'm not seeing many people with six. I was with you, Samat. Samat, thanks for joining us. I was with you. The five, I don't know what he was doing there. Didn't show any speed at all. I'm not playing it. Good, good call, Ashley. And Ashley brings up a great point. When you see nothing there, pass on the race. You don't have to play every race. In fact, it's recommended that you don't play every race. Just pick the races that, that are good. Because some races, like Ashley looked at right here and pointed out, this race was just not playable. Didn't work out as expected. Okay, it worked out as expected with the 3-6. But I think how the 5 ran really threw things off. And the 4 was a fly in the ointment with the early speed. And even that 2 uh, had a big last race. I mean, Austin. Uh, oh. I don't know if that was that for this race. Let me see. All right. Doesn't look like there's any home run hitters here in this race. And this was uh, this was a cheap exact. Uh, that Karen looks like the one who got it done here. Great job, Karen. Thanks for sharing the pick. Let's look at what these pay. Oh, brother. Uh, it's official. So we'll get some prices. And now we are past the halfway point. We got the late pick five coming up. I'm on two, yeah, both Austin and myself uh, like I landed on two as the pick of the day. If you can't single that horse, who can you single? And the two quickly opens up at one to two, followed by the three. And uh, followed by the three at five to one. Three does have back races and three does have Ness who did nothing on the five last race. The saving grace for the trifecta was the one getting to third. And I really question uh, that exacta for a buck, 1120. That is a gift for an exacta box with those two, the three and the six. Easy money. They would stand out. So the two I used in the double, my stupid 11 did nothing the previous race. Oh, who won that fifth race again? Nine, chain reaction. All right. What did the double pay? DD paid 63.60. Nice. So now we got to, you know, let's. Look at eight, nine real quick. I'm going to step. I got to heat this coffee again. Actually fill the cup. 19 minutes to post. I'll be back in a few. Let's see anybody else. Bursa. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, going to hammer the two here. Can't see this horse losing unless he totally misses the break. The jock falls off. Yeah. How about that jockey in that? Do you remember that race? There was a race, I think it was at Gulfstream Park, and it was Jaramillo was the jockey, 
and he was on a uh, somebody was in line to hit the pick six for a check there was one there was one live ticket in the pick six and it was the last race and this guy harrow Mio was up on a longer one and the horse had the race in the bag heading for home so there's going to be one guy that hits the pick six this is maybe within the last year or two and he falls off the horse right before the finish line and uh, and the guy loses the pick six. I wonder, did this guy jump off the horse because he would have got killed if he ran one on the horse? Let me see if I could bring that video up before I go away. Why don't you look at this video and tell me this wasn't a fix? Now, there would have been a single pick six winner, uh, I think over a million dollars. And um, Parks Racing, Versa. Let me bring up this stupid race. YouTube, YouTube.com. Uh, because I want you to see this if you haven't seen it already. Would have been a $730,000 pick three. Now look at this. This is only the last 49 seconds. Seven hundred thirty thousand dollar pick three. You talk about you mentioned jockey falling off the horse, Austin. I'm going to bring this up before I heat the coffee. Okay, they should click on this link. Now, did he do this on purpose? Now, it's the number nine horse, right? This is going to be a $571,000 pick three. If this nine wins the pick, no, the pick six. Uh, okay, here we go. Look at this. Click on this link, folks. Just watch this. It's 49 seconds long. You can click on it. Jockey blows the pick three. I'll be right back. Tell me what you think. Did he throw this? Did he blow the? A guy would have won 507 if it's nine. I'll be right back. I already got. I already got the ice water. Check out this uh, ride on the uh, pick six here by the nine.
And we're back. Hi, Carl. I want to say about that, Jack, is like every time you should hit big, he will ride a clunker and burn your money. Lose a lot of money on that jockey. That, and he's a great jockey. He really is. I wonder if I lost a pick, you know, pick six that way. I mean, whoever was in line to get that pick six at 570, almost 600 grand. Uh, that's a stare at the ceiling at night when you go to bed or uh, maybe even go into therapy. <laughs> oh, a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, has passed away recently. God rest his soul. Earlier uh, this year, one of the best horse players I know. His game was the super, super effective, and he was in his 80s. But uh, to win early in my horse playing days, uh, you know, he gave me some pointers, and I played the races with him. And I saw him at Mountaineer of all places hitting thousand dollar plus. Uh, pick four. He was giving the, the picks out before the race. Me and him were playing the races together, and I was hitting some exactness here and there for 30, 40 bucks, and suddenly I was like, I feel like I'm winning nothing seeing this guy cashing these tickets. Now, this is going back about uh, eight, nine years ago. <clears throat> but the, to go back to this jockey, he was in line. He was in line to be the only winner of a, a pick six, and he had hit a, he has hit a couple pick sixes during his racing career, which spanned years. But he was in line to hit a really big one where he would have been a lone winner at the track. And uh, I believe the track was Suffolk Downs. I'm not 100% sure that was one of his main tracks. Suffolk, they don't have racing there anymore. But he was in line to win uh, over 100 grand. And uh, his horse won the race. And then the inquiry sign went up and they ended up taking him down. Now, this is a good, a good lesson here. Uh, he ended up taking the horse down. So he didn't win the pick six. I was like, how'd you handle that? And he goes, help. Oh, you know, that's horse racing. So this guy's very even keel, had the perfect mindset as a horse play. Because he, because he won a, a, a few grand. He was still happy. He won a few grand for having five out of six. And uh, so he lost a pick six on an inquiry. But I can't imagine this one uh, losing a pick six this way with the jockey falling off the horse. Did he jump off the horse? It doesn't really look like he did. But crazy. Yeah, that is nuts. Yeah, therapy there for that. It's something that, you know, like, can that scar a horse player? Um, you want to play this game uh, like you have ice water running through your veins. And um, you, want to be somebody, you want somebody to come up and take a picture of your face, win a lot or lose a lot or pass on the race. And there should be no difference of expression no matter what happens. You want to play the water, uh, the races with ice water running through your veins. You don't want to be an emotional basket case. Otherwise, maybe this game is not really, uh, you, you're going to have trouble winning consistently if you let your emotions get the better of you. So uh, you see me here, you know, I'm losing some here. I'm down today. I have the same temperament, the same face as I did earlier in the day. That's what you want to have. You know, at least be semi on balance. But yeah, that's a tough one. We got Karen here weighing in. Park seven, two, th five, three box. Uh, that three, if there, if that two somehow doesn't doesn't have it today, I think that three can win. Uh, it has the back numbers, and it has Ness, the trainer, twenty nine percent. But let's take a look at the five. Let's take a look at carrot five. Uh, let's see, two, three. I like the two, three, James. I'm going to cover with the three as well. I'm going to cover with the three as well, based on the back races and based on um, the. All, how many horses are in the uh, eighth race? Eight horses. Oh my God. I, now that the one, do you go seven here? I mean, the, the, the prospect of candy is 15 to one next race. And it's the one, and it, it this is a six four long, it never went that distance, but it, it runs short, it has, uh, blazing early speed. Does anybody have speed that can run with the one? Can the one run off and hide and steal it? I mean, one should get a jump on the field. I could, I could see the. I, I know the one. The figures are kind of. Uh, One could win that race. 
Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Uh, that's the next race. I agree with you there, uh, James. That next race is as wide open as they come. Uh, Karen in this race, 253 box. Uh, let's, James, thank you. Uh, we got the pick three there, Wayne. And let's take a look at the five here. Since a two is my pick of the day, it's Austin's pick of the day. Let's take a look at the, uh, now we're into the last. Two is the pick of the day here. Seven, let's bring up race eight. Let's bring up race eight. No, I just want to have the peepees ready. Race nine. All right. And we'll have a late pick four coming up soon. I believe Austin had a pick there. Uh, let's go. Let's start by talking about the five a little bit. Since two and three are pretty much the obvious choices. Five hasn't won at the distance. Let's talk a little bit about the race before we get to go into the horses. This is a mile and 70. This is an allowance race, purse 40,000. Okay, the two has the big numbers. Uh, the two has won the last two at this track with a 90 and an 88. The race prior to that in the mud here ran a 90, then it ran. It's really starting to run later as a five-year-old. Trainer is Scott Lake, regular here, 340 races at part 14. And 430, 413 races for the year, also 14%. So 340 of this 413 races are here. And uh, Frankie Pennington, winning jock here. He's almost, Frankie Pennington is almost like the, uh, Frankie Pennington is almost like the Elvis Presley of uh, Parks, just like Joe Bravo is the Elvis Presley of uh, Monmouth. Now Joe uh, running and dropping anchor on his, Joe Bravo and now on the West Coast. Okay, in three, we got Jamie Nest, 29% trainer. You got to go back to earlier in the year if you go back to March through June, the three has early speed and has every right in, used to like to wire the field back in, in during that stretch running at this distance. What happened after June? The numbers have now running in the 70s to upper 70s where he's running mid 80s to mid 90s actually early in the year between March and June. Does he resort, resort back to that form? If he does, the three can upset the two. Otherwise, and he has big early speed, the three. Do they send him to the front again today when he's getting a price? What kind of price is he getting? Right now on the board at nine to two, the second choice. Now the two at even money seems almost like a steal. Uh, four minutes to post, let's get this in. I can't see any, and the five, I can't see it. I can see it maybe, maybe, maybe slipping into second based on the last race in the slop. R Ronald Abrams, um, the trainer, 15%. Jockey Silvestri uh, Gonzalez, 19%. Good trainer. Maybe this one benefits from the early pace and can slip in there at a price. What is the five going for? Uh, five is on the board at six to one, bet down to 12 to two. That's a nice price. What about the others? We're looking for underneath horses here for the trifecta. <clears throat> I'm not going double. I see there's a very wide open next race, so I'm focusing on this race, but I'll, pu I'll put up the pick three plays for those of you, for others who are playing it. Carlos is in here weighing in. Thanks. Three, two, eight, five. Okay, Carlos. And we got a pick five play in here. Uh, two, three, all James White. Two, three, I can see it, yeah. So I'll leave that up here. Karen, of course, two, five, three box, hoping for the one. I'll tell you what, if the two, three hook up in a speed duel, the five might steal it. Good, good. good. Thanks for that, Karen. Uh, we're going to go uh, Austin. Uh, we're going to give his pick five play. You can see he sees the next one is uh, he singles here. All next race, I could see that. He kind of singles it, so I'll leave that up for now. Number two is getting negative. 
Kunal, thanks for joining the show. All right. Thanks for weighing in, too. Good to see you. Uh, how many minutes to post? One minute to post. Two down to four to five. Are there any others that we can use underneath? Maybe a closer. Seven looks light by the numbers. Eight. I don't see why this one. It does have one good race here on a sealed track. Drops in class. Eight drops in class. Has early speed, but he can't run with the others early. Nine. What about nine? Uh, just looks too slow. We go back to the five. <clears throat> five has 11 races at the distance. Is finished second. Uh, Second three times it parks is one four times it parks seven seconds and five thirds and 23 tries I'm regular on the board 14 out of 23 times. So we're going to do this here. Zach the box. Try box two, three, five. Two, three, five, two, three, five. One more. I'm adding a third to the underneath play. One. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, five. All right. We got time. It's not, well, it's try box. I'm actually adding the one to the third leg for third place. And the one now is on the board. Has some races that fit this a little bit. And it's 23 to one. If you go two, three back, it's a contender <clears throat> to hit the board at least. Add the six underneath Ashley and the one. I did add the one, Ashley. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy the race. They're in the gate. Two, our pick of the day. I'd like to see the three win just because it pays more. And maybe the five. I mean, geez. Two not showing the speed that I expected. Holy crap. Why is now the two is scooting up the rail? And uh, five, four, three. You know, two is an even money. And, and all right, five is suddenly bet. Five took a ton of late money. We got some others here two, four, five, Morali. Uh, Eighth race, okay. Uh, and here's my pick: two, three, five over two, three, five over one, two, three, five. And the five has got a nice lead on the field, and now the two is finally starting to run. Looks like he's running second. Here, the three is running fourth. The four. I'll tell you what. What's going on here? Why did the two and three not show any speed at all? Are we even going to hit this? Where's the three? Five has a healthy lead, but the two, eh, not really making up ground. And the two's inside, and the three's running a little bit wide. Who's going to get third is the question. It looks like five has this race all to himself. Parks, the house of mystery. Five is going to win this. No one's catching them. Now i got to hope to hit the damn trifecta, and I, got, I need one, two, or three to get it. Three or somebody to get it second. We may get it with the one. Come on, one. Overtake the two. Overtake that two. Five, two, one. Yes, the Prince of Parks has arrived. Uh, the one is uh, 38 to one, folks. We're going to get paid. All it takes is one. That's the saying, folks. Five, two, one. Boom. About damn time. Anybody else? Muriel, good job. Five, two, four, five, two. I guess you box that. Uh, uh, Juan, five. Excellent job. I saw you had that. Nice. Thanks, James. Juan on the uh, oh, five. 
Uh, anybody else here? Okay, Carlos, I don't know if you had that, or if, five, five over two. Anybody else? Act in effect, two, five, four, good job. That one coming in third was big. That changes the whole complexion of this. So we got the try, late minute play. And we will move over and see what we have. The next race is gonna be really difficult. Now notice, I'm just looking, I'm starting to look over the next race. I know that hit, I'm not here bouncing off the walls after a nice trifecta. Uh, camera to the face, you probably don't see a difference. It's down to business, because even if you win big and you celebrate, then you can tend to uh, get really loose with the money. And before you know it, what you want is gone, and then other money is gone as well. So... Now, I only played it for 50 cents. It's not like I made $10,000 here. All righty. Uh, five, five to two over an even money. And there's an objection. You know what? I might even lose this damn thing. <clears throat> now, I had something like this, too, happen at Charles, Charlestown. I played a $4 box, right? <clears throat> Two horses over three horses. And Charlestown, I call call this the house of inquiry. And I had like a, a 15 to one over 43 to one come in. It was on a wet track, 15. And this is going, this is like 11 years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's 11 years ago. I, I can remember it still. So 15 to one over 43 to one, $4 exact. I was in line to win like, um, over $700, about 780, right around there. So the race finishes, look clean, right? So then I'm checking, I would say, now I double check, make sure I got the bet in the right way, got the bet in. So I, so I go there, I check, I guess they, everything's good. You know, okay, good, I got it in, I got it in. So then I look at the screen and then I see there's a uh, inquiry. You know, I, I was looked at the screen to see the prices, but now I see there is an inquiry. And uh, so uh, the inquiry lasted about 10, 15 minutes, and they took my 43 to 1 down, and they placed a third. Now, I only had that one. Um, in the first two positions, and uh, it's, and they showed the replay. The two horses never even touched. They never came within three feet of each other. And the whole, and the whole call was a jockey hold, right? And to this day, I don't know what a jockey hold is. I tried Googling it, everything else. What's a jockey hold? They called a jockey hold. They took it down and $770 turned into a, um, a, six, a $16 loss. So, And I don't know what this objection is here. So uh, who knows? Are they going to take it down? Will they throw the one out of the position? I don't know. What do we um Ashley, I'm having some 5-3 on top of two also. Yeah, okay. Seven, one. Let's start looking. Let me just look at this inquiry. Who's? They may take the five down. And this would definitely screw me here where I get nothing. Unless they place it second. The key here for me is to leave the one third. I mean, if they move the one up into second, I get nothing. So uh, I'm kind of, let's bring up, I, uh, I don't even want to look at this. It's taken long, so that doesn't, I don't like that. The only thing I could deal with is switching the two and the five. Otherwise, uh, and that, that will make a big, pretty big difference. They take down the two entirely, you know, toes. but that's horse racing, folks. All right, we stand. All right. Let's start looking at the next race. Got the trifecta. We're on the board. Two-thirds of the way through the card. 
We finally connected. Uh, no winners through seven, but we got to, you know, this will put us ahead, folks. Nice. Because I haven't really been spreading, doing anything crazy. A few bucks here, a few bucks there. And then I don't know what this pays. Like, it should pay a little something with the 38 to one and third. Uh, it's official. Let's get the payouts. And then we'll go to race eight. Eight is an all race. How many minutes to post? 16 minutes to post. All right. Uh, the five to two, 50 cent try. Where is it? They don't throw it. Right. I'm only going to get... I'm only going to get 52 bucks. All right. So what? So what? You know, that still puts me up. Not much, but at least we're back in the game. Okay. Race eight. Right in it. All it takes is one. Or right, race eight. And this is this is as tight a race as it gets. Tight a race as it gets, folks. The all button, I could see it, Austin. I could see it, and somebody else did it. We had some pick three plays in here. Let's get them up. Um, again, we connected on that last race, so we're we're going here. And um, Raleigh, nice hit. Uh, Carlos had the five and the two in there. What did the exact to pay that race? I think that paid. If you boxed it for a dollar, you lost money on that. That's, oh, all right, anybody else? All right. Karen, okay. Oh, you made money there with a three horse exacta box. On to the next race. We got spam. We'll get rid of that. Block. Poof, gone. Uh, James White, first out of the box, all two, three, two, three, eleven, pick four. It's time, it's that time of day, folks. Time for the late pick four. Eight, three, oh, Acton. Okay, great job last race. Mike Lewis, Mike, win pick four. Okay, good luck. I'm going to leave James up because he has a late pick four. Did Austin do a late pick four earlier? Uh, I think he did. I don't know. I'd have to go way back into the archives uh, to find it. Hey, Austin, if you if you can put that up again. Started because we, we're, getting into, we're getting rolling here. Four races left. Can you believe it? Uh... All right, 14 minutes to post. Here's the thing about the one. It's the longest one on the board, but it has the rail. Not raced for more than a year. Trainer is 11% here. And the trainer of that is 0 for 13 uh, when the horse is away three months or more. Gets an 8% jock, uh, uh, Yomar Torres. He's 11% everywhere else. Does his, most of his running elsewhere. So he's a, d a decent jo jockey, but he has early speed. It's only a four-year-old. Now it's been off a year. It's been off a year. And so now it's still a cult. It's four years old. It's probably faster and more developed than it was as a three-year-old. And as a three-year-old, put up a couple of numbers that, that fit this race, albeit they were on turf, 75 and a 73. Lowest rank speed rating, but expect this one to be out front motoring, trying to put the others away. And let me just see what the odds are on the one on the board. Uh, dead on the board, 24 to 1. Who else? And we'll look at the ones that I kind of pointed to here. I was on the, um, the ones I liked here are 4, 7, Four and seven were the ones I was on. Uh, a lot of early speed signed on here. So I think that works well for the four um, who doesn't really like for the front. And the seven as well, who was a closer. And uh, we got four of the eight early speed types. Of course, the one's big early speed. <coughs> and showed the best early speed in the last race. So let's start talking about my selections, the four and the seven. 
who are aren't aren't you know, the four six races on this track a first second and third uh one its last race at seven furlongs here let me just give you the distance on this tell you a little bit about it it's six furlongs optional claim 40. the one is in for a claim four is not up for a claim my problem with the four is the trainer our rafael rohana uh five percent uh trainer and an eight percent jock but since this 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 uh memento has went into the barn of uh, Raphael's, he seems like a whole new horse, a uh, whole new filly, excuse me, three-year-old, still developing. So they bounced back quick, came in first last race at seven furlongs, at, at le previous race at Delhi. It's, it's run some nice races here at Parks, usually hits the board at least, opens at six to one. Now, the set is never run at this distance. Now we move on. We'll move on to my seven. Never ran at the six furlongs. The question there is the real estate. Seven is a closer as well. Now the seven is the closer. Now the seven is another one has a win and a third at parks. At this distance though, uh, it fits. Has it, it has some nice back numbers. And the last couple of races are in the mud, so I'll kind of throw them out. Doesn't usually run well in the mud. And if you go to the races before the mud, and uh, the last time it ran a clean track at this distance, it finished. Uh, the last three times it ran at this distance, it did run an Aqueduct at Belmont before. It had ran an 80, 82, and a 73. Here it ran an 82 when it finished. And it gets a good jock, Miguel uh, Sanchez, solid trainer. Uh, Lewis uh, Linder Jr., 16% jock in sprints. He's 18%. Dirt starts 18%. I like that he's won at this track. Has his best race at the distance um, at this track. Uh, five races at the distance, the first, second, and third. And all the speed foot signed on, I figure seven is going to be there. What about the others? Uh, do anybody have questions about the others? Uh, Ashley... Uh, six is taking the most money. Let's take a look at the six who I'm not on. American Pyramid. Uh, let me take a guess. Is the sire American Pharaoh? American Pharaoh. All right. Now, this is coming from bigger circuits as well. Kentucky Downs ran there on turf. Does have a big race at Keeneland at seven. Now, this has one of the early speeds. Why are the field at Hawthorne at this distance on October 1st? 8% uh, trainer. Uh, shipping, this trainer coming in from Hawthorne, 10% with shippers. But you got Paco Lopez. Paco always takes money. He won on that six in the other race when it was uh, the 6-3 exacta. And Paco, 29% here. Uh, in, print, in sprints, Paco is 23%. A fan favorite, Paco Lopez. He's going to be going down to Gulfstream uh, when the championship meet starts, uh, maybe even this weekend, when the championship meet starts on the day after Christmas. And Santa Anita, uh, December 26th, they kick off their meet uh, uh, there as well. So the Santa Anita, I'm probably going to land on Santa Anita when I do the uh, late afternoon evening racing. Uh, when that circus, but I like Gulf Stream. I'll be covering Gulf Stream live as well. That's my track in the winter. But Aqueduct, they have no turf racing. No, no more turf racing this year at Aqueduct. They're done there. We finished this weekend, concluded. And they have smaller fields at Aqueduct in the winter. And it gets dreary over there, the bad weather, uh, the hard surface. So in all the big trainers like Pletcher and Brown and the Ortiz brothers and the Rosarios of the world, they all go down to Florida uh, for that championship meet at Gulf Stream, beginning again December 26. All right, what else? Number six. Okay, why are the field last race at this distance so must be considered? Paco Lopez, Paco. Uh, this one never really showed that kind of speed before. Hey, it did. It did back at Keeneland. Will it show that speed here? It's never raced on this track. One to consider, my problem is literally, does this horse have enough early speed to grab the lead? Ran a 74. 
how are we looking on time? Seven minutes, okay. Got the, the breeding, Ameri and we got the trainer shipping in. Paco is the selling point for this horse and its last race. I'm on the seven so far. I'm going to excuse, excuse the last two in the slop. And I'm, I think the seven is going to get a pace, definitely a pace to close into. The five, the last two races, uh, never raced it here at this track. Uh, Kathleen DeMossi, very solid trainer. <clears throat> this one has good early pace. Probably not going to take the lead. At this distance, one for 477. And that represents its last race. But when it ran that 77, it led all the way until fading in the stretch to fourth, losing by three, uh, three and a half lengths. I don't like that. And I don't think it has the speed to run with the uh, – it can run with the early speeds that are faster. I remember I, I said, yeah, the one. The one is going to give these fits. That one is going to really, you know, shake the other early speeds up, I believe. I don't think the one might win. It might get brave and run away. It's never run more than five and a half furlongs, and this is six. But its best races were at five and a half furlongs. That one. What about eight? Eight has early speed. Eight can gun it. <clears throat> eight is 0 for 3 at parks. Never really ran good here. 58 is 5. It's usually at Monmouth. It's earlier races. It's a three-year-old. Just horrible at parks. It's, maybe it's growing up. It's been running better lately. First, second, third, and the last three at Monmouth. And it does show the big early speed. A win of second and a third at this distance. So I'm going to leave the first three races at Parks out of this, only because <clears throat> those were the first three races, all at this distance, lost by double-digit lengths, all three, eighth, sixth, and seventh. Last race was its finest effort, but at Monmouth. What, can it handle the return to Parks? Is eight taking any money? No. I guess people are figuring that eight is going to have trouble here. Now, the four who I liked is take it, you know, it might be worth a show bet. Maybe I'll, I, I like the seven to win, okay? And you'll get paid. How about for the ninth race? Six, James on the six. Six, two, three on the pick four. Good luck, James. Thanks for sharing that with everybody. And thanks again, Austin, anything? <clears throat> Just going back to the earlier pick threes or pick four. Kisses for Emily. Bursa, hey, Bursa. Thanks for sharing the pick. Kisses for Emily. Um, I think. Good luck. Thanks, Bursa. So we got a pick there. I, I like the seven, too. Now, here's the thing. Who do I like next race? I'm on the seven here. And we got Austin. Thanks, Austin. All. Yeah, this is an all race. It really is. I think a safe bet, if you wanted a safe bet, I like seven to win. And I'm going to single in the pit in the daily double. But I think a safe bet here, safe bet just to cash something. Number seven to place and hope one of the bombs comes in with it. I don't have the pick. I don't have the race eight safe bet. That's a new play, right? Maybe you don't want to pay, play your daily double. Maybe you don't want to, you don't want to bite your fingernails off with the win. Shouldn't do that anyway. You should feel comfortable when you go into the race. You shouldn't be nervous about it. 
You want to be able to sit back and say, hey, I played a good race. I, I'm comfortable with these picks. Sit back and enjoy the race. You don't have to be, you know, sweating it out. First, an easy win for Kisses for Emily. Yeah, that's the one. I'm singling Kisses for Emily in the double. And here's who I'm going to use it with. We still got three minutes to post. I'm not going pick three. <clears throat> race nine. And race nine is another one of these six and a half furlongs allowance races. Yeah, see, race nine is another one with a lot of uh, early pace. <coughs> Excuse me. I, the five hidden cash is nine to two next race. And uh, you usually a board hitter here. Now, this is not a get rich, rich race, folks. The next race, I'll use three. Nothing fancy next race. <clears throat> race eight daily. Going farther than there because I'm just by the selections here. I see some of these are wide open. This race, really, Austin has the right idea. And Juan, Good luck, Juan. Yeah, I like the seven, too. I think the seven gets a nice pace to close into here. My place, race eight, I'm on seven with five, six, eight next race. Um, the five is tremendous at the track. The race sets up good for the eight. Just go back there for a second. If five is tremendous at the track, the six has the big early speed, and uh, the five is – so I got one of each type. I got a couple of pressers, uh, early to presser and closer. Uh, the eight it opens at eight to one with Jose Gomez and a 20% trainer next race. Gets spotted weight um, at the track, 10 races of parks, two first, two seconds, and a third. How much time? Zero minutes to post. We're on number seven. Uh, getting three to one there. I like that. I think it hits the board. I think I don't think six is a lock. Uh, by the board, it is now drifting up to eight to five. Go up, baby. The seven is moving up to seven to two. I love it. One, the inside early speed. I think you could throw a, a monkey wrench in the plans for the other early speeds. Uh, anybody else have picks here? Uh, Ashley's weighing in. I got to get to everybody. The traveler, uh, five eight here. Good luck, the traveler. Wide open. Thanks for weighing in with these picks. Ashley, I got six with two seven. All right, I think you're in good shape there. Um, good luck, Ashley, thanks. Six in the pick threes, okay. Four pick fours. Mm. Justin, six. Six is taking the money, Ashley, looks like by the board. Um, Mike Lewis, pick two, the wall. Joe Brown, Joe, good to see you. Box up two, five, six. That horse could win would be the four. I'm on the seven. Good to see you, uh, Joe. Greg's weighing in. And uh, Morali, four, three, seven. Good luck, Morali. Did they start already? No, they're in the gate. See my plays. Uh, race seven, DD, uh, seven with five, six, eight. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy the race. They're just about ready to get started here. Uh, Kicking off the – let's see if that one shows the early speed. And there he goes. Now, the one is off for about a year. And the eight, I thought, also could show the early speed, but one is leading the way. How is that going to affect the six or that usually likes the lead? I don't see the six anywhere here. 
Uh, I'm on a, a few of us are on kisses for Emily the seven. Seven is the closer. So we expect seven to be trailing the field. That'll be coming late. Seven to place was my safe bet of the day. And now eight takes over at 16 to one. The one showed its way, but it made a impact on this race by screwing, you know, screwing with the other early speed types. Uh, here comes the four. Uh, seven is starting to show signs of life. This is six furlongs, so still a ways to go. It's eight, one, eight, six. Here comes the six. So the six is alive and uh, trying to catch up to the eight. I, he probably will. Is that the six? Six will get it done. Okay, good job, everyone who played the six. Six, eight, that is going to pay something. All right, great job, great job, those who played the six. Uh, what do we got here? All right, good job sticking with it, Ashley, good job. And Paco gets it done. You know what? Very smart ride by Paco. Stayed back. Tell you what, that eight, <clears throat> eight was the truest early speed of all because eight runs at the distance and, and had that early speed. One had been running, you know, four and a half, five and a half furlongs, and eight was the true early speed. And who was that slipping into third? Four? Okay. My original plays here were four, seven and I left out the four. Nice price on the four uh, if you used it to show. Who else? <clears throat> yeah, he blew, yeah, but he came back. I, I didn't make Ashley. If he blew the break, eh, I hear you. Thanks, I didn't see the blow of the break. I was looking at the one in that. All right, I hear you. I trust your judgment. Well, they came back. Good job on the six. Who else had the six? Uh. Who else? Joe Brown, two, five, six. Uh, who else? There's somebody else with six in there. Ashley, pick six. Okay, six with two, seven. Good job, Ashley. And uh, I don't, anybody else have the six in here? I got to go a little further back. Carlos, race nine, number six. Oh, uh, okay, that was race eight. And alive here is Austin, all five, six with nine. And now we go back. Let's stick it started. Uh, the exact is going to be pretty good. I'll give I'll give you the exact payouts. Uh, six with eight, 96, 48 to one. That's going to be a nice exact. All right, let's get started. We are <laughs> reaching the last three races. So we will begin looking at that. Race eight, I was on five, six, eight. Mm -hmm. Six has the big last number. What about eight? Eight opens at eight to one. How many minutes to post? Race nine, they haven't opened up the boards yet. Okay, I'm gonna reheat the coffee again and I need ice for the water. I haven't even been touching the water. Still ahead for the day after hitting the try in race eight. So uh, let's see if we can do pick three here. Let's see if we can close out this day with a pick three. We will be back in a second. Carlos. Who do we got here? Kudel. Hey, Kudel, good to see you. Mike Lewis wins second leg. Great job, Mike Lewis. Let me go back. All right, good job, Mike Lewis. All right, we winning players here, folks. Winning players. I'm going to get some ice water, reheat the uh, coffee, and be right back. Going to reheat the coffee, get some ice for the water. Thanks for joining the show, everybody, and participating. Another big day of racing here, uh, day racing at parks. They give us such a great card, 11 races, and they start before noon. And uh, 
can't ask for more. The quality track, decent purses, decent talent horses, and uh, good trainers, really. Tech is second tier trap track. We're not talking Del Mar and that, but uh, we're talking a damn good track with some uh, good fields and quality racing. Eleven races today, and now we got we're down to the final three. So I'll be right back and get to crack it here. Uh, let me give you my preliminary picks here. Preliminary picks. Yeah, I put it. I'm looking at five, six, eight. Ashley, I like two at the park and the Fay four on the edges. All right, we're going to take a look at those, and uh, we'll be right back. We've got to heat up the coffee. Can't drink uh, cold coffee, folks. Oh, last this will be the last cup of coffee of the day. I'm halfway through it, and I need ice for the water, which I really haven't been touching. Thanks for joining the show, everybody. If you like the show, we do more shows, live shows like this, where everybody participates, gives out their picks, handicap the races between races. We cover the entire card most of the time. And um, so, yeah, and a lot of good players here, tremendous players. Ashley's one of them. Uh, Austin. Uh, God, there's too many to name. Okay, be, back, be right back.
All right, um, Ashley, you like the two at Parks? I'm, I'll have to take an extra look at that and look at that one next. Uh, Carlos, thanks for sharing your pick here. Um, I'm on three of those. I like five, six, eight. I, I, and then you got the three in there also. Uh, thanks for sharing that. Uh, let's see. Yes, I see now why the eight is being bet. Interesting. Okay, we're going to get to all of that, Austin. Big doubles here, five, six with nine. Good luck, Austin. All right, let's get let's get cracking. We're down to the final third of the card. Now, we've been through nine races already. Big card here. Uh, actually, less than a third of the card. Uh, just over three. Down to the last three races. Do we have a pick three here? Is there a standout? All right. Let's start looking. All horse racing, all the time. I'm your host, Al. And we will start looking. We got the board up. How many minutes? 11 minutes to post already? Okay, the eight is taking a lot of, no, the six is taking a lot of money um, in the show pool and in the doubles pool. And um, <clears throat> by the buyer's figures, I could see why. Pennington up, the jock. Uh now, let me go back to Austin a second. I think he's going big here. Okay, five, six. Okay, I could see that. Six is is, is definitely going to be dangerous. And uh, and the five, I have the five, too. Acting effects. Acting effects. Seven, one. I love it. I love it. We've got an interesting angle. We're going to look at all of these here. Let's go to the ice water before we go to the coffee. Green cup, the color of money. Parks racing. Only one hit for me today, the, the, the triple, a couple of races back um, with the 38 to one third, 50 something dollar payout for. Okay. James White, six. Yeah, the six is a likely single. I mean, I could see the six. I think six, four, five traveler. Okay, the four. I've heard that four, I believe, mentioned before. Maybe the first one, the traveler. Thanks for weighing in. Okay, let's get started. Uh, if you like this show, here's what the track analyst likes. Track analyst, put that up there. I think he likes six followed by the five. Six, five, I think it was six, five, four. But it was six, five to start. So let's get cracking. The six get, no, that okay, that's last race. Come on. All right, now, now we're set. Race nine. Okay, one second, I'm just bringing something up. So we're going to try and construct a pick three here, folk. If it's there, it's there. I think the six is a solid single. This Donna, he has the big, big early speed coming in from Santa Anita. Michael Moore, 25% trainer when he ships. 13%, good, but not overwhelming. Has run at parks before. Last time ran on that track with Paco Lopez. Uh, finished second. That was, uh, God, over a year ago, September 25th of 2021. But has some big recent numbers. Wired the field at uh, Santa Anita in September, putting up an 89. Two back at Del Mar, uh, one by nine open lengths, running a 91. Speed. We have a lot of speed signed on here. Now I use five, six, eight in the double. That seven last race didn't show the closing kick. I guess the other ones just got too far up front. See four. <clears throat> this is a fairly. I could see the four doing something. I talked a little bit about the six. Let's talk about the longer one, Aroma. That has early speed, and um, this is a six and a half furlong allowance. Another six and a half furlong race. You don't see many of those. 
sticking with the ice. The three, before I get to the four, the three, with all the early speed, I think this one might close into something not entirely sold. What I like about the three is, is five as is, is, uh, sec in seven tries at parks is two seconds and three thirds. Uh, the whole this is a career parks runner. Ran its best effort last race. Edward Coletti, 8% trainer, 10% and uh, Anthony Nunez, jock, won the last race. It's really the only thing I could say about that. I, I, I don't know about using the three. I Now, four has big early speed, and it parks 10 races here, three firsts, uh, has a second and three tries at this distance. Good early speed. Um, the five finally broke its maiden is uh, four seconds and really close seconds. Well, uh, four seconds gets the usual jockey uh, in six tries. Uh, Barbosa has right raced on this one five out of uh, six times. It's never missed the board, has a first, a second, a third, a second, second, second. It had second itis early in its career. The numbers seem a little light compared to the six, say. I think the six is going to go off at two to five, but has taken money. It it was a money burner for a while until the last one. It was favored. I mean, it was uh, just 1.3, 1 1.3 1 to one, the two races to before prior and uh, burning money and a favored 1.6 before that, lose, coming second by a neck. It's a second place machine, six races, the first four seconds and a third. And again, the five, 13% trainer, 15%. And the six has to be the favorite. A six is a single for me, folks. Try six over four, five, eight, four, five, eight. What about that? Let's look at the two. Never raced at this distance. Likes it longer. It's a closer. Yeah, I'm, I can't go there. Uh, trainer, 0 for 11 in 2022. The jockey is okay, 15%. Uh, I can't go two. How about one? One for two at the distance. And it might slip into third. Eight career races, two first, two, two first, a second, and third. I can't I can't move past the six here. Maybe I'll just put together a pick three. Because I, I got a solid single here. Okay, with how the track, uh, the traveler, with how the track is playing, the closers are struggling to that excellent observation. The last race was a perfect example, example traveler. Today, this favorite horse is the closer the pace we're on the lead. Excellent observation. Thanks for sharing that with us. Well, no, not, not really, Ashley. That six was one of the early speeds. I think it was just, he did close though, but, but it, had, it really was a fast runner. Um, Austin, five, six, exact a box, five, green light. Uh, the five is good at this track. I, no doubt about it. Never misses the board. Likes second a lot. I don't know what the odds are. Thanks for sharing that, Austin. Let me go back. I thought the king retired. In June, when the two races at Sprinter Parks, he raced against a bias and ran in a figure that would make him dangerous. Let's look at that, too. I think I touched on it, but just in case.
Okay. Well, the two, you know, has, okay, okay. The two has come in third twice. It has a couple of figures that could hit the board. Well, even in September at Laurel on the turf, it put up a, a figure that fits. That was on turf. Fastest race on dirt. On dirt, it has five thirds and nine tries. Decent fi figure. It's a five-year-old. I don't like the trainer, though, and I just like others better. Let's go down. How much time we got before post? Uh, two minutes. I got to get this in. Okay. We're going to go pick three. Let's see. Race nine. If I was going to play the try, we'll go six over four, five, eight over one. Four, five, eight, and a pick three of six. We are singling the six here, folks. I think we can narrow this down. Six with eight, nine. With now, in the tenth race, we have a scratch. Keep that in mind. We got one minute to, I mean, the eleventh race, we have a scratch. The ten is scratched in the eleventh, so keep that in mind. The eleventh is another six and a half for a long race, and that's a very close race. Okay, this is the anybody else? We got a try here in this race six over four, five, eight, one, four, five, eight. Pick three, we lead with the six, then we use two and uh, one, two, five, 10 in the finale. So for a buck, that's an $8 pick three, okay? <clears throat> and it has a good chance to get it, get it done. Ashley, five has class issues. My biggest gripe with the five is that it seems to finish second a lot, but the, the main thing is I like that the six just has the edge over the others. It, it just seems much faster. Uh, Mike Lewis, race 11, scratch 10. All right. Now I'm just putting that in now, right, as a thing. So uh, one, two, five. Yeah, I see it. I put in my picks last. I get in my picks right here first. So let me just finish that up. And six down to three to five. No surprises there. Okay, the one is down to uh, nine to two now. All right, we're set to go. Good luck, everybody. Any other last minute picks? Joe Brown, six over five, four, three. I think, yeah, I think the four, yeah, I think you have a good shot there with the four to get this, Joe. Thanks for sharing. Three, five, Richard. Let's see, six, nine over. Good luck, Richard. Thanks for joining us. Ashley, uh, no, uh, if it should be, but I'm glad it's it's uh, one to five. I, I'm glad it's not one to five. Let's see if it turns into one to five by the time the race starts. And they're off. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy the race. Six, where is he? I'm relaxed. We... We got the five there. We got the two. Yeah, the two. 
They actually called that one. Where is the six is what I'd like to know. See on the outside or something? Holy smokes, what's going on? What is going on with the two? I think somebody, uh, is it Carlos is going to have a big win here? Two is going to get to the line. Two, three, six. What do we got here? Two, 17 to one. All right. Three, 17 to one. This looks like one of those races where they played a little game at parks, four, nine to one. Yeah, let's hold back the favorites and let all the others come through. How about the five? Did he get his usual second? I think it was two, three, might've got third. Five never has missed the board before. Until today. No, he keeps that record intact. <laughs> the five does get third. I still don't see the six anywhere. Wow. <clears throat> what do we got? Anyone have this? Bursa, Darling Donna did not do anything, if I remember correctly. Uh, eight. Let's go back. Ashley, great job, Ashley. Excellent. I tell you, we got some tremendous winners in here. Great job on the uh, on that too. Got the job done. I get looked a little crazy with the jockey there at the end, but uh, and and Ashley pointed out in June the two raced at sprinted parks. He raced against Bias and ran a figure that would make him dangerous. Indeed, tremendous hit, Ashley. Congratulations. Who else? is outclassed in a big way hung on for third i'd like to know what went on with the six <clears throat> we go back six over four five seven five wow Well, okay, this should be balloon payout job. Uh, six wiped out at the start, okay. Nice job, Ashley, Carlos. Okay, that explains an acting effect. Otherwise that would have won easy. The six wins easy if it doesn't get a bad start. And uh, in his defense, yeah, no expense, no, 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 no excuse there. Who was the jockey? Frankie Pennington. We'll have to see the six. Now we will go back. We will go on to the, we got two races left to do some damage. By trifecta and pick three, wiped out. But we got two races left, two big races left. Parks. Let me just look at this. There's an inquiry here. Hold the phone. I don't know what the inquiry can be. <clears throat> Maybe it has something to do with the six. Do they refund the money? It's not going to help here. I think the only thing I can think is that the that the inquiry involves a start. So that shouldn't affect the first two finishers. Let's see, move on to race 10. Race 10. I mean, the nine is going to be really hard to beat. 
there's been uh, he's won one, two, three, four straight, and the only one he didn't win, he lost by a nose. And the race nine is a um, down to that point, folks. We're getting near. Can't believe we've been out here since uh, what time? 11:30. It feels like I just got here. It's hard to look past the nine. Austin going to have a nine here, my second best bet of the year. Yeah, it looks so strong. <clears throat> Ashley gave out the big winner last race, 17 to one. I see why, but he will be short odds. I'm looking at seven and three. We'll look at that. Let me just look at something here. I get out my three. See, I come as close to uh, the other one that I kind of looked at was the eight, but I'm going to look at the three, two. And I like four of them in the last race. I mean, three of them in the last race, but I'm going to single the nine and go heavier with uh, most likely the three others. They got the ink re-sign up. I have the sound down. Only because I don't want to get a yet. Yeah, I don't want to get a copyright claim um, for reproducing somebody else's broadcast. See, I'm on one five two in the last in the eleventh race. One, two, five. I think the two is going to be really tough to beat in the in the last race. <clears throat> Did they? Oh, I got to start the video up. Let's get some prices. It's official. Okay, good. The two stays up. Uh, one hundred one hundred eighteen dollar exacta for a dollar. So you're talking two hundred thirty six sixty, and the try two three five. Five paid, even five paid 680 to show because that six missed the board. Look at the show prices 1060, 840, and 680. Who would have thought that the five would end up paying? And just edged out the four. So the five officially has never missed the board. Let's get some prices. <clears throat> Race 10, nine is one to two, which makes sense. And is it worth playing with anybody else? Tenth race, Carlos. Eight has enough speed, Ashley, to bother the nine. That's my worry. And you got two, three, nine, James White. We're going to take a look at the eight. Definitely has enough speed to bother the nine. It definitely even has enough speed to win. We're probably going to see a speed duel for the ages here. They both won the last race. Paco Lopez gets back aboard. He, nine's won two in a row. Paco Lopez up both times. Nine might get the jump. Eight might get the jump on the nine, absolutely. But the nine doesn't really need the lead. He can he, he stalk sometimes, too. Uh, at the distance... Nine's a, nine's a little better at the distance. The six and a half, that might hurt the eight. Yeah, the nine one. Finishing time of the eight last race in six furlongs, 111. Before that, one, yeah, 111. Wasn't able to run a 110. And this nine has uh, one running a 110 already.
James White, 239 with 2311. I guess that's a double, James. Good luck. Thanks for sharing. <clears throat> Great job on that acting effect. Put five on. Uh, had the five. Great. And you got great prices on that acting effects. Great job. 680 to show. Ashley Seven could be sitting right behind those two. Okay. We're waiting to pounce. Okay. We're going to look at that seven. Great observations and analysis, Ashley. Uh, we go too fast, three cleans up. That's how I see it. Okay. So now let's take a look at this. Carlos on the 297 and James White on two. Nine is going to be the one. Let's get to these PPs. I know I like 152. Is it worth the double? Do I go too deep in this race or is nine the um, seven? <clears throat> Seven has every right to win this race, actually. Uh, it sets up perfect for the seven, but the seven has early speed, too. I... Seven, 17 times at the district. Seven has been around forever, nine years, 415K. Uh, four has earned 415000 $288 over an illustrious career. Most horses never come close to that type of earnings. Trainer, Helam Lee, 18%. Jockey, Silvestri Gonzalez, 19%. Thanks, everyone, for participating and joining the show, making it really what it is. You know, it's a tremendous job. I appreciate it. And I'm sure all of us appreciate these picks as well because we have people giving out big hitters, big winners. Ashley gave out, it gives out big winners. Uh, contenders regularly, uh, 17 to 1 shot last race. Austin, big winner. A lot of players give out winners. I'm just, you know, off the tip of my tongue. Of course, uh, we have other here, players that aren't here today that have given out. Big, there's always players that give out tremendous hits on this show. Yeah, myself included, but others as well. I mean, you want to make some money, learn a little bit, see angles you never thought of before. I'm learning, and I've been playing for, for years now. So, uh, 15 years and uh, winning, and, and I'm seeing things I hadn't thought of before at angles. It's just a great learning experience, and it's a lot of fun. Let me go back to the two, eight to one. Eh, too light, folks. Decent trader, Lewis Linder Jr., Ruben Silvera, 20% jock. Maybe could pick up a piece. I mean, let's see. In the money, seven out of 17. Once at third, it parks. Gets Silvera again, knows the horse. This one has gotten beaten by others before that are in this very race. This is six and a half furlong allowance race. The question is, now the closers, it's been pointed out here during the show that the speed has been holding. The closers have not been getting there. Now the six did get there closing into it, but that is an early speed horse and, and had trouble at the break and got back involved and won. And that's a testament to the jockey, really. Paco Lopez, 29% here. And Paco is aboard the nine. Let's check the odds and time, po time to post. Nine minutes to post. Nine on the board at two to five. I don't like that. I mean, it's not a lock. It all goes through the seven, eight, nine, folks. Here's who the track analyst picks, track analyst. Track analyst likes the nine. I don't know if there's a refund I did. Okay, hang on a second. I gotta go check. Nine over one six, Austin. We know about the seven. We know about the eight. There's eight and seven. I'll tell you what, the eight could very, unless he gets, the eight ran so far up over its head last race that I find it hard to believe that it's going to repeat that. And I don't like that it, 
but it's run a, a, a little slower at the distance. I think nine is the one, but seven, seven can get in there. I mean, it's an early speed type two, but he usually, usually has one by running second. What kind of fractions are we looking at here? We're looking at the six ran a 22 and a 44 and four last time out. So, geez. But was trailing in that race and then came on and won. So it does the leader was running 22 and 44, and that didn't disrupt the nine. And it was trailing at Pimlico on, on September, so it doesn't need to take the lead to win. So I, I got to go nine on top with Paco. He has four tries at the distance, a second and third, seven wins and 16 tries at the track. Trainer, 20%. Now, the trainer of the eight. <clears throat> has won two of five here, 13% or in 13% for 20, 22 and 16 starts, 8% jock. You got Paco 29%. I can't see nine losing. <clears throat> I'd be inclined to go more nine, seven box. Six did run a competitive race going back to Delaware. Has a big, has run some big numbers in the past at parks. <clears throat> what about five? No. Four has a lot of solid numbers. Um, hasn't won in a long time. Has been beaten by these. Um, three. Hundred. Eh. 25% trainer. 21% jock, you know, for 2022. No wins here in two tries. Still looks slow, too slow to compete with the others. All right. Two seven box probably pays next to nothing. Let me look at the pools. Seven is taking more in the place pool than the eight. But the eight is taking more in the show pool. The two is dominating the pools. Show betting is not even worth it. The over a thousand on the nine, unless he gets something really goes wrong. Can we get a second place in there? What are the doubles playing? Paying problems. Daily double. Okay. That's, our, that's going to be our play. I'm putting it in right now. DD. Nine. With one. Two, five. We'll talk about them later, but let's get back to this race. The nine losers call the police. Richard, thanks for joining. Oh, here is nine runs well early and late. Exactly. Excellent observation, Richard. Yeah. Hammer that home again. I mentioned that earlier, and you said, hey, nine seven box. What does that nine seven pay, Ashley? Is it even worth it? Uh, exacta, nine, seven, um, ten dollars, seven, nine, eighteen. If you play a one dollar box, and you'll get something. I mean, <clears throat> the eight, nine pays less. If nine, seven is the cheapest box right now, seven, nine, eighteen, sixty. This is for two, and nine, seven, ten. Now, is that automatic money? Hey, it looks like it could be. But I, seven, I believe, has run at this distance, though. That, that's what gives seven the edge over the eight in my eyes. Uh, yeah, it's nine times in the money out of 17. Ran a, you know, ran at this distant last race and finished second. You know, was second uh, by a head at the, at the first call, in front by a head by the second call. Uh, 
second in, in the stretch by a length and lost second finished by half length. I, I mean, it, it, it fought on. And I'll throw out the race before that in the slop where I uh, hustled early and stopped. One, wiring the field at this distance. And the eight has not run at this distance. Is there anybody else that can sneak in there for a second behind the nine? Now, I'm assuming the nine is going to win. Nine, seven box may happen, but it's not smart. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for another second place finisher. One has speeds. What? Uh, the odds on the one are 45 to one. Now we're going to look at how the one is done here. That's what we do, folks. If you have any questions, just ask. Uh, one has some early. Uh, no, one doesn't. One really doesn't have the speed to go with these, and it's too slow. Uh, it's running speed figures in the 70s, even lately. Uh, no, I can't see it. Um, And two gets a good jockey and trainer is inside and, and does close well, did close well in the slop. Um, hasn't finished better than third was its best. If it, it has to duplicate the last race to, to have a shot here for second. But it does have one good one um, on February 22nd where it finished third with a 93, 94, 93. And on February, November 25th of 21, uh, had a 94. Looked like it was running better than four-year-old. It has every right. It might it, it, if the speed collapses, two could could sneak in there. How much time we got? Two minutes to post. The one has speed and likes to run second. Where am I seeing this? I I don't see the speed. It does run second. I agree with that, but it likes to be near the front, but it doesn't run early fractions. And it's running in the 70s. I, I it likes to run second, but rail post is winning 20%. Uh, trainer is 10%, and the jockey is 7%. I think he's up against it. I, I Good luck if you use it. If you will get paid with that one, that I will say. And it does like to run second. But if, if that one comes in second, uh, you know, hey, hats off. I, I can't go there. Uh, the six, you could make, maybe make a case for second. It uh, has four wins and four seconds and a third at this track. 15% jock trainer, uh, Josu Ars, 12%. Did run a 91 back at Delaware on, in August, winning uh, by three lengths. That was at six furlongs, but it had a good closing kick there. If I was going to use anyone, I'd probably use six for six underneath. <clears throat> Nine over two, six, seven. Here we go. Exact uh, try race. Race. Ten. Try. Nine over two. Six seven two six seven and an DD of nine over one two five. Now, let me get those in. I better have time to get these in. Uh, eight seven exact the box trying to that'll pay something. Try and beat the chalk. Good luck, Ashley. Thanks for sharing. Eight nine with three two. That's my play. Good luck. Now we got. All right, let me type this in. Let me get my pick in, and we will. All righty. We got time. Good luck, everybody. Let me get my pick up there. Got a trifecta, 9 over 267, 267, and DD, 9 over 125. All right, they're going along the fence. Let me get this in. We're down to the last daily double. We've been out here four o'clock, folks. Four o'clock. We're out here four and a half hours battling away. One winner for me here. They try earlier. 
which was decent with a 35 to one shot late. Uh, who else? Busted ahead of the three. Good luck, Ashley. And um, what we got? We got our picks here. We got uh, all. Richard, of course. <clears throat> Richard, yeah, you can get this done, Richard. Good luck, Richard. Thanks for giving your pick here. We've got a lot of players, a lot of players participating, and a lot of them uh, at least hitting some nice races. So it's not, it's, you know, I give my picks for every race and have delivered some big winners. Like Delmar, a couple of the last weekend, what was it? The first four pick threes of the day. But we're, but we've got a lot of good players out here giving out picks, giving out angles. So if you like the show, subscribe to the channel. Let us know. I'll let you know. Uh, this way you get notification of all live shows. And uh, hit the like button if you like it. And this way when you go to YouTube, you get to see that I'm out there live, uh, you know, if you get notified. And it's an option to jump in. All right. They're just about all in the gate. We got nine is the big favorite. It's no shoe in by any stretch of the imagination. On its best day, nine and both seven and eight can win this race, especially the seven who's proven at the distance. We're set to go. Let's see who gets out of the box early. I think we got a pick in here, active effects. Uh, good luck, active effects. And uh, six, seven, nine, one, six, seven, nine. Good luck. All righty. And they're in the game. And they're off. Let's see who the early speed, who gets the jump. All right. As expected, eight is pressing the nine, but the nine doesn't need the lead. We've talked about that. A number of us have before. And eight goes to the front. Paco Lopez, the top big man on campus here at Parks, 29% jock, running in fourth. I didn't quite expect that. Now, the one is showing early speed. Now, some talked about this. And <clears throat> more early – no, that's the six. The six is one that we have in the – six is the value horse, at least for show betting. Open six to one, currently 27 to one. Right now, we got the seven going for the front. Holy smokes. <clears throat> okay, six, make a move and, and just take the lead and finish. Six, seven, four, six, seven. Nine is coming. But the seven, that's the three is coming. I have no sign of the six. Parks racing at its finest. Oh, my God. It's going to be seven, three. I could see why people say Parks is a crooked track. Now, that's not sour grapes. <coughs> that's not sour grapes at all. Seven, four, one, nine. Limping off. Great job. Hopefully some of you had this. Ashley. Added seven three. I think it was seven. I think it was seven three. Great job. Let's see seven three. Great job. Ashley connects. Tremendous, tremendous hit. Congratulations, Ashley. Telling you, Ashley is on fire here, calling some big winners. Had it last. It was my last bet. Great job. Great intuition. Three is loaded. Seven three. Great job, Ashley. Uh, who else? Did anybody else have seven three? That's going to pay something. That's going to 7 4 to 1 over 50. Is it 15 to 1, I think? I'm telling you, a lot of big winners on this show. And Ashley is uh, is showing the way today with some bombs here. Uh, 4 to 1 over 15 to 1. And what's that payout on that baby? That's, that's uh, for $2, that's 171 exacta, folks. All right, what do we got? Uh, seven, three, four, six. This is, uh, geez, what were the odds on the four? 24 to one. Wow. The nine, it, it really, it finished the race, but it, it really broke down. It was limping across the finish line. Eight. Okay, it is official. 
Let's get the prices. Maybe the prices even went up. The six closed at three to five. Okay, that race is official. I'm gonna heat up the coffee for the last time. What do we got? And um, and here, this is the story here. Uh, just added the seven three, and uh, great job there, Ashley. And uh, and we got who else? Eight nine eight seven. I'll tell you, the one horse did show some speed. Yeah, it, it was there for a while, but it broke off. I think that one was running faster than it ever did before. Uh, Mike Lewis, huge. Yeah, yeah well, huge is right. Uh, let me go back to the payoff page. Uh, it's official. Let's put some prices up. <clears throat> Congratulations to all the connections. Seven had every right to win that race. <laughs> 20 minutes to post. I'm going to heat the coffee for the last time. Will I even have the coffee? Yeah, why not? I want to stay hanging there for the prices. Happy, the happy news here. I want to see what this this these, this thing pays. Um, preliminary <clears throat> exact uh, forty. Wow, the price dropped on that at the end. <clears throat> I was showing eighty-five to one there. Okay, but still forty-nine thirty. Take it. Great job. Uh, Ten twenty to show on the three. Yes, it's true. Let me go back and look at that three real quick before I, I step away for a second. Never raced it. It did have one good race at, at three races at parks. Hadn't run there in a while. All right. Picked up the pieces. I mean, it, it's always in the money, really. Last race throw out um, at Penn. First, second, 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 third, third. I mean, yeah, why not? And it, it closes well. So with the early speeds in here, got in there. Jeez. Okay. No complaints there, that race. Seemed on a level to me. Uh, let me see what this stuff is here. 7-3. Race 11, 19 minutes. I'm just, I didn't, I didn't even see the 9 drop off. 9 was on the outside. I just want to see where something happens. Okay, starting to drop back. Okay, the 1. We talked about the 1. A couple of you, Austin and uh, Acton, I believe, who's talking about the one with the speed. Uh, nine is now running. Uh, you know, he's starting to drift back. Four is coming on. I'm watching the replay. Now the nine starts to come back. Now the one starts, nine starts to drop back. Something's, he's off stride. Or is that the eight? Seven. Uh, tracking the leaders. No, that's the eight. The eight shows no speed that race. I don't even see the nine. Mystery. All right. We got more comments. Ashley in Canada, the two dollar exacta pays a hundred dollars. That's about the same here, Ashley. Report the nine as a missing horse. I can't find it. I can't find the nine. I thought it was on the outside. I didn't even see it drop back. Call the police. I will call the police. Um, 11th race. Uh, three was a play against a fast pace. He got, the, got one, but one was better. And for a fast pace. All right, I am going to step away, uh, be right back, last coffee uh, heat up of the day. Um, let's see, uh, preliminary contenders, I'll give you that to work on, and then we'll look at it when we get back. This is who I had in the pick three, folks. And I'm going to look closer at it here when I get back. Okay. Be right back. Everybody, thanks for joining the show, contributing. 
great job for all those who give out winning picks. Uh, let's make it rain in the in the tank. I'll, I'll be right back. Got to heat up the coffee. Been on this cup for hours, so it's not like I've been guzzling coffee all afternoon. I used to average uh, up until earlier this year about six cups a day. Now it's two, three cups, and I've been on this one for a while. But first, coffee. Be right back. Good luck, everybody. Those are my preliminary picks. Let's make it happen.
No sound. We're back for the final race. I was talking about this. Okay, we're down to the final race. And uh, from this 11 car, 11 card, uh, 11 race card here at Parks, tremendous card. Ashley has been putting on a tour de force racing clinic today with some big, big winners. Uh, we have a number of people who win big on this show. It's, it's not just me doing the show. I give out my picks and winners here and there, some big winners too. But it's a lot of good play. It's a lot of good picks. It's worth it to, to see the show just to get an idea. And you'll get an idea quick who knows what they're doing uh, because they give out the picks regularly on the show. We part, it's a participation show. We all participate, handicap the races, give our reasons why, give out our selections before the race before they get in the game. We're not giving out winners uh, after the race. Hey, I hit that race. How about that one? No, we give out the selections before. And um, tomorrow we're going to be out there again for parks. So if you want notification of all live shows, they're interactive shows, different from other racing shows. You get to learn something about the game and see how the uh, heavy hitters play. This is the place to be. So, And we reach race 11. Ashley Tour de Force Racing Clinic today, some big winners and uh, others out there giving out big winners too. And we've reached the finale. I landed on one, two, five in the double and uh, the, the nine didn't get it done. I don't know where it is. So um, let's get going. John Fellows, you're here just in time. I did have a trifecta earlier. I'm just about treading, just about even for the day. And uh, this is like kissing your sister for me, so I want to do some damage here. Uh, welcome. Glad you could make it, John. Austin, going to play the 5-2 at the Mountain Classic. Light bulb angle. Okay, I like 1-2-5. Dang, even the fave is not a guarantee. Look at this. Mike Lewis, leg five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Torn between the five and the nine at Mark Dunning. Dunning. Hey, Mark. Good luck. Five and nine. I don't have the, uh, the nine. Let's just start looking at uh, some of these contenders here. One, five, one, two, five. We'll start with Mark's nine since he just jumped in here uh, with, with selection here. Well, we I'll talk about my one, two, and five, and the others. You know, it's a, a big field, big field. Six, another six and a half for a long race. Now it's thirty thousand dollar purse. You can have these horses for seventy five hundred bucks if you can take care of it. Prove you can take care of it. Oh, okay. Let's look at the nine. One, Frankie Pennington on the two. Okay, one, two. I, I was on one, two, five in the pick three. Uh, Scratches, the 10 was scratched. I like the 10 too, and I think everyone would have liked the 10. Acting effects, need a solid at parts today. Okay, yeah, we're all, same here. Uh, I definitely want one. Seven minutes to post, we're getting close to post already. Now the five has the big race three back, but what about the nine? 12 to one, you'll get paid. Open 12 to 1 C Pines. Currently on the board at 33 to 1. Is that worth a show bet if nothing else? Let's take a look. That's 10 races at parks, two seconds and a third. But at this distance, six and a half, five races, three seconds and a third. So in the morning, four out of five times and sea pines has early speed opens 12 to 1 jonathan acasio up races a lot here at parks out of 273 ratio races 273 races this year 240 of them are at parks so this is jonathan's home and the trainer 11 percent trainer harold uh, weiner or winner however they announce it He's 14% in claiming races. <clears throat> Second start with team, he wins 20%. Now, last race was in the slop at five and a half, so write that off. 
But this one has early speed. And uh, the last two races at Parks, it, ran, it finished third. Jonathan, 8% at Parks and 100 But he has 33 races at other places. And if you add them in, he's 11% trainer. But I love the second uh, start with team 20% and 14% claiming. And I love in the money four out of five times. And I love the fact that Sea Pines has big early speed. Now, does he have enough big early speed? The three has some early speed too. You know, the seven, does the three have enough speed to match the seven? Uh, not really. Has six races at parks, a second and a, a first and a second and six tries, not bad. Had, that's going back though. Um, you know, wired the field in uh, August here. Uh, has run some big early fractions. The last race didn't really show out uh, the usual early speed. Uh, high percentage jock gets uh, Kemich de Jesus and 7% trainer de Jesus is 19% at parks and very, hasn't raced much. And the three is getting a big break in the weights. Uh, comes in at 111 pounds with a hot apprentice jockey. 20, 19% in 17 tries at parks <clears throat> and 21% in 29 races this year. So this one, this guy, uh, Kemich de Jesus is, is winning early and getting 10 pounds. What are the odds on the three? 41 to one. Four minutes. I'm tempted to use that that nine to show. Let me just take a quick look at the pools. We still have four minutes to post. Two is taking a ton. And uh, two is getting crushed, folks, in the show pools. Not so much in the wind pools. All right. Pools and probables, the will pace, the daily, in the pick three, the uh, one is taking the most, uh, is the cheapest payout. Actually, the three, the five, they, they say it all goes through the five here, and five's on the board. Let's take a real quick look at those. Uh, anyone have any picks? Post them, please, for us. Um, Looking at some speed figures here. One, two's taking a lot of money. What about the five again? Let's go back there. Five doesn't have to win this race. I'd be inclined to bet Ness with the two. One for two at the distance, first, second, third at parks. Last race. At the distance, one for two. I'm going to put in preliminary. I'm putting in a show bet on nine. Sea foam, sea pines. Here's my play. How much time have we got? One minute to post. I'm putting in an exact to play. All bite, win place three. Good luck, John Fellows. Uh, Richard. One, five, two, six. Good luck. I think you've got a good shot there. Two, three, 11, exact the box. James, good luck. Uh, Parks, nine, number nine, win play show. I love it. I love it. I think that nine is going to be part of it. Uh, do I even have time to get in my pick? Okay, let me get there. Let me put it up. Four across the board. Good luck. Uh, going to try the show, tote board. 
Ice cold on nine. Nine has early speed. Okay, here's my play. Um, race select, race 11. I got the show, number nine to show. And exacta, two, five, over, one, two, three, five, nine. We'll go for it here. We got a couple of prices in here. <clears throat> two, five, or one, two, three, five, nine. That is eight bucks. Eight bucks. All right. Let's make sure that's all in okay. And I got the nine to show for two bucks. 38 to one. I can't believe the three is up to 42 to one. That's the inside speed. The nine might wind up being a low speed here. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to be out here again at parks and uh, covering all the races. And let me give you this. So anybody have any questions before we get in here and get started for our finale? Uh, okay, let me just check the parks time tomorrow. Uh -huh. So I can give you a time right now. Tomorrow, best game in town, folks. Uh, parks in the in the day. Yeah, they could start at eleven fifty-five. So we should be out there eleven thirty tomorrow. And they're still loading up. Anybody have any questions? Anything going on? We, I, th I, I'm very comfortable about the last race. I think we'll connect for something. <clears throat> the 16, yeah, good points there. They have a big field. This is almost like a Kentucky Derby race. Three is nowhere. I like that the three's inside, but Ashley, hey, sounds good. Good luck. Uh, Tugo, Mark, do you play Oakland? I play Oakland on occasion. I, I play. Uh, yes, Mark. Two goes to the front. Okay. The thing is, we've got so many entries in here. And I'm on the, either the two or five to win this. Good luck, everybody. We've reached the finale. Richard Mitchell. Hey, Richard. Yeah, okay. Let's keep an eye on that, too. Yeah, I get. I want the two to win. I, I don't know if he goes to the front, but let's see. What a field. They're just about all in. Still loading, folks. I think the 16's a little light, folks, but let, let's see what happens. This we've seen create some outrageous results including the last race with that nine. Mm. They're all in. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy the race. All right, the 11 goes out towards the front. Here comes the three. Here comes the two. Nine not showing the speed as expected. Look at the, the the prices on the on the three leaders, folks. I don't expect that to hold up, but let's see. Here comes the eight, eight to five now. The five running in fourth, five to two. 
11 to one over and eight to five. And the others are not really showing much interest. Looks like nine might, that might be the nine moving up a little bit. Let's see the fractions, 22, a fast opening quarter here. Here comes the inside. It looks like the five is moving on the inside. Uh, who else? Is that going to be the eight? Five. Get one of these others home, please. All right. We finish with the exact of five one. What is that going to pay? Nine, nowhere to be found. Oh, he started to make a move, the nine, but let's look at five. No great shakes. The 11 there. Yeah, the 11 held on. The speed held. That's a nice price on the 11, 11 to one. Uh, let me see. Wager pad. Five, one exacta. Will we cover? 19 to 1. All right, we came out ahead on that play. So we had two, two, two winners, slightly above break even. You know, that's not too bad. It beats losing and racing. And we'll wind it up tomorrow and look for a big one. Um, 9, 3, 2, 5, 1. And my initial play, I had 1, 5, 2 in the double. 9 couldn't get it done. Um. Yes, I play over occasion, uh, Mark, uh, great track. Uh, there are other tracks I'm looking to cover yet. I want to cover Upstream, Santa Meat Start in the 26th. I want to get in a uh, Woodbine show. That's a tremendous track, big pools, uh, great great talent, great trainers, large uh uh, large payouts on the tapita uh, surfaces and synthetic surface. I've had nice hits there, they, and they all for the uh, for the players. It's a lot of fun because you can spread it out with twenty cent pick threes and uh, twenty cent trifectas. And it's a chance for a new player really to have a chance there. So they only had the five. That's why I played the eleven just in case. Great job, Ashley. Racing clinic today. Great job. Uh, Ashley today. Thanks for joining us and sharing all these winners with us. I hope you played them. Uh, let's see, Alan, James White. Uh, oh, you got it. Anytime. It's a pleasure doing the show with all of us. And uh, wow. Tomorrow, going to be out here at 1130 again covering parks. I'm not doing a show. I'm not covering uh, Mountaineer tonight. Uh, that's it. Some days I do doubles. I, I do a day track and a night track. Uh, like the other night I did... Uh, I did, what was it, Aqueduct or, I think it was Aqueduct. It was um, the early track and then Remington at night. Uh, so great job, Austin. Uh, do you have the Back to the Future book? Back to the Future book? I'm not sure what the humor is there. I guess it's, I, I wish. Everybody, thanks for joining the show. Me, uh, yeah, I, I think that was meant for you, Ashley. Uh, Ashley, we have some players. Just Austin is one of them with the great picks, and other players too. I mean, God, thanks for joining the show, everybody. If you like the show, subscribe. You'll get notifications of uh, all live shows as they come up. I'm telling you right now in advance. The plan is to be here for parks tomorrow. At 11.30, another 11 race card. And I believe they have some stakes on the card tomorrow, but I'm not going to check. It's a great card tomorrow. And uh, so we're going to be out here again tomorrow. Later in the week, we'll, we'll see where we want to be, uh, what's running. Probably parks on Wednesday again, but I'm not sure. I want to see, you know, I'm going to look into uh, the Woodbine schedule and uh, see who else is running in some of these days and uh, go from there. So. Thanks for joining the show, everybody. It was a blast. 11 races, they went by just like that. Uh, Richard weighing in here. I miss races five and nine in my four contenders. Thanks for joining the show, Richard, and sharing your picks with us here. It is a blast. I'm glad you could make it. The key value to get paid. 
big, but bet small. That is how I go, Ashley. Uh, I was pretty much betting the, the minimum on these races, and that's my motto, bet small and win big. And this way you can also cover with the heavy hitters, with the whales out there. That you could spread the right way when you bet smaller, and you can get big hits just like Ashley did today with that. Uh, what was it? The seven three and others. He had the two at seventeen to one. So uh, that was just great. And uh, again, everybody, have a great evening or day if you're uh, evening if you're watch or whatever. What time you're watching this? Whatever. Have a great evening. Thanks for joining the show. If you're playing tonight, best of luck and bring it home. Win big. All the best and talk with you soon.